Okay, well, welcome to episode 315 of the Clive Barker podcast and part six of our D&D game, uh, Jericho Squad 77, uh, where we left off the squad investigating a recent demonic infestation from the gulfs in Gregorius's false hell. Uh, they made their way through shadow demons, a gluttonous tentacled beast named Porgus, and escaped the temptations of the lament configuration and now face the door to the fifth level. After the destruction of Midian, after the unraveling of the fugue, after the fall of the unbeheld and the reconciliation of the five dominions, the Jericho organization has expanded and spread itself thin, guarding the breaches and investigating anything that comes through. This Dungeons and Dragons game is the story of one of those teams. Let's begin. So right now where you're at, uh, you're still in the, you're still in the, uh, the, the fourth level. Um, and let me, I'm going to start sharing my screen here. Okay. Okay. There's the level. And I'm still standing outside the door. So to recap, we put a, a cube in the lock of the door, right? A lament configuration? Yeah. And we're still missing two people on wall 20. Oh, OK. Okie dokes. There's Ralph. So does anybody have a knife? Huh, let me check. I check my satchel. I have... I check my pockets, but you know. I have a small knife. Yeah, I have a small knife. All right, real quick before we continue, may I borrow that? Sure, yeah. I throw the knife in the air and... and, and at... at... at, uh, at the seagull. <laughs> okay, uh, make an attack roll. <laughs> me? Well, I'm not attacking him. I'm just throwing it up in the air. You see how okay. accurate you were. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh, do I still so just do make it? Just roll? make a dexterity check. Okay, dexterity yeah. check. Right. Yeah. I nineteen plus three twenty-two. Oh wow! Yeah, you you throw it right to him. Nice. All right. I just want to buzz back over here. I don't think I'm gonna drag it and grab that belt that um, I'd used for the tripwire the evening before and then use the knife to trim it down so it's real skinny and then just kind of strap that around me to carry that wand and um you know the, the lighting was the the lighting was uh, made it made it a little difficult to see but you do remember there were a couple of chests that you haven't opened yet okay but yeah i want to make myself a little like cross belt from it and then okay. that wand in it like a great sword over my back. Oh, I got you. Okay. I don't have pockets or a backpack or <laughs> Yeah. This is like yeah. Can't it. Right. So make myself, yeah, a little little holster so I can walk around like a, a winged Highlander. <laughs> there can be only one seagull. There is only one. That's like a huge problem for me. So, um, I look to my left and I see you like in another room. What's going on there? 
Oh, I'm going. Ah. Should move it on Zoom again. Yeah, I'll just yeah, go down over there, and then I just come back. Grab a belt, do some cutting, okay. and I guess we join the party. All and right. Hey, there's two chests we haven't looked at. If you guys want to. Uh, sure. Yeah, we can. Uh, you look really cute now. You got a robe on, and you got like a knife on your side with a belt. It's. Uh... Uh, no, it's somebody else took the robe. Yeah, I. Oh, it did. Okay. Ralph took the yeah. robe. I was just. Ah. It made gotcha. me look human. Don't worry about it. Sorry about that. I, mean, I almost looked like I had lips. It was gross. So I go to the other room and uh, turn uh, uh, left uh, to get to the other chest. Is this the one we haven't seen yet? No, that's the one that turned into a monster that you fought. Oh, yeah, that we killed. Okay. Well, I'm like, oh, okay, that's the wrong chest. Go we back in here. We need to navigate. We're going this way, guys. All right. About there. I follow Jonathan Livingston Seagull. Okay. Oh, right there. Okay, All it's right. an empty Front room list. and there's a chest in the corner. My Ralph. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he took he took a shortcut. Good one. Did they sleep last time, Ryan? Uh, no. Uh -uh. No. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Oh, okay. hey, Rob. Can I um, can I control Teresa? Oh, yeah, I can. Okay. The paladin, right? Yeah. Okay, so, um... Yeah, my pal. Hey, did some... Um, if somebody... When I'm sharing my screen, I can't see the chat at all. It just disappears. I don't know how to bring it back. I am, um... Uh, checking... If you watch the... your phone, I can text you whenever there's chat. Okay. Well, I thought that's what you were doing. Yeah, I did. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. If somebody wrote something in there, I don't know what it is. Oh. I check the chest. Make sure you look for traps. Okay. Um, well, when actually you open this chest and uh, it opens, it was unlocked. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. Now look inside. What do I see? A you see uh, it's it's full of a big pile of gold coins. Oh, jackpot, guys. Yeah. Okay, we got some gold here. We're not more rocks. So, so I count I count the gold, I guess. Okay, and it takes you a little bit, but it's a, it's a thousand gold coins. Oh, my God. Who wants to carry all that stuff? Like, what what era? Like, we're in Tunisia, right? Are they, like, old Spanish coins or... Yeah, doubloons? yeah, they're doubloons. Feel the blue, that's actually kind of cool. Maybe I want one, but can you carry it for me? <laughs> um, is there is there a way for me to get over encumbered with my inventory? Um, is, we yeah. I mean, it does uh, keep track of your inventory and and how much weight everything is, but uh, I don't pay a lot of attention to it. Okay. Uh, I mean, if it if it gets crazy, like if you're if you're carrying a car around or something, I might say something. Okay, so I guess I just have my my regular inventory, so uh, I think yeah. I'm still good. And the fifth okay. edition rules for it is like everybody can carry like 180 pounds around, and I mean it's ridiculous. You're never gonna. All right, all right. Yeah, it's not gonna be an issue. So I turn to the team and say, guys, uh, you want me to put this on my backpack? Yes. Okay. Sure. I guess I'm I'm the designated uh -huh. pack mule here. I I take a I'm thousand. I'm carrying gold. more money than you. Yeah, that's true. You're carrying uh, 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 British, British pounds. Okay, let me add that to my inventory. Um, so, Ryan, can I use the uh, backpack tab on my inventory to put that in there? Um, well, actually, you could just add it to your money. I mean, in the gold, ah. gold, you just add a thousand to it. Gotcha. So, in currency, yeah. I just add a yeah. thousand. Okie doke. Here we go. So, I'm adding. Yeah, I wish I could do that. One thousand. Add. Okay, 1,060. All right, I, uh, I I put that in my backpack. So wh All where's right. the other chest? 
Loops over here. Squawk. Everybody, follow me down the hallway. Once <laughs> All right. Distance. Oh, and also I forgot to mention there there was also a rolled up uh, piece of paper in there. Woo. Oh, okay. Uh, well, retro retroactively, I I can pick it up. Yeah, yeah. It's a it it looks like a magical scroll. Uh, it's a scroll of cure wounds. Okay. Um, does anyone need their wounds healed right now? Um, I got full max hit points, so. <laughs> Yeah, yeah Tressa's okay. But we can save it for later, right? Okay. All right. So you've got, uh, there's another chest here in the uh, in the um, southwest corner of the room. We better check it for traps, guys. Okay, who's going to do that? Well, you do that. I can help. Me? Okay. Yeah, I'll, just... I'll look at it from over here. <laughs> All right. I guess I'm okay. the I'm the, the the bomb guy here. I'm gonna okay, go in. Okay, so make make an it. investigation check. Investigation. All right. Investigation check, and that is. Uh, let's see. Investigation. And and if Jonathan's helping, then you can roll with advantage. So you do it twice and take the higher number. Okay, I got sixteen on this roll. Okay. And the second roll is thirteen, so I'm gonna go with sixteen. Okay. And that that's the total number. Yes, eight, uh, okay. it was uh, eleven plus five, sixteen. Awesome! Yeah, the, the, you you do see that there was a trap. There was a small mm. uh, plate in front of the chest that, if you step on it, so something is going to come up out of a bunch of little uh, holes in the floor. Sneaky. Yeah. Okay, so I bypassed that, right? And uh, is the yeah. chest locked? Uh, it it's not. All right, I open the chest and look inside. Okay, there is what looks like another wand. Uh, it'll take you a little while, or if you want to identify it, you can do that. A uh, wand. But it'll take you a little while to figure out what it is. All right, I'll add that to my inventory and look at that and try to identify it. So I add it to my inventory. What do I add? Uh, wand? Uh, yeah, it's it takes you about an hour to um, to attune to a, a magic item to figure out what it is. Okay. Or if you want to if you want to cast identify on it, then you can do that as a ritual. It only takes ten minutes if somebody has that spell. Hmm. Okay, so I'm adding wand, gear, arcane focus. Is that it? No. Okay. Yeah, you can't really add it into your inventory until you know what it is. Ah. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll stick it next to this other wand. Yeah, I mean, you could just you could just put it in as a. Yeah, I mean, you could just type wand into the into the extra stuff area until you know. Or okay. if somebody, I'm pretty sure there's more uh, that at least maybe Catalina has has identify. I mean, I Misa. Do. Yeah. Cool. I do, I do, I do. Catalina. Sorry, we'll... I had to reposition myself because my leg. Oh, okay. Okay. So, Catalina, here's a wand. Can you identify it? Yeah. Don't fall for if that. you cast it as a ritual, I think it, it doesn't take any spell slots. It just takes 10 yep. minutes to cast. I believe so. Identify? Yeah. That's correct. Okay. Okay. It so, is... uh, go ahead. So ten minutes go by, and and uh, and Catalina does her her identify ritual. It's a wand of silence. Ooh. Okay, wand of science. Do you want to keep that, Catalina? Uh, silence, not science. Yeah, silence. Yeah, yeah. No does that mean we can help make people be quiet? Yes. Hey, Ralph, yeah, do you want that? I'll take it if nobody else really wants it. I'll Already take it. Nifty wand holder. Yeah, we can probably use that on the little imp that's following us around. Right. <clears throat> At this point, he says, um, "You know, you're, you've got your back to me most of the time." Well, you know, take your shot. He says, "I will when the moment's right." Okay. <laughs> He's gonna push me into a pile of crap, isn't he? Mm. Anyway, 
All right, so it looks like those were the two chests, huh? Let's let's go back to the door. What do you guys think? Do you want to look around for anything else? Maybe you should uh, maybe cast mage armor on me before we go through the door. Okay, let me check that. If if you are able and willing, and uh, I grovel appropriately. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's see. That was all the chests. Yeah, looks like my it. spell that was the last slots. One. What's Oh, okay. There, there appears to be one way on the west side of this area. Yeah, I think that's the one that had the uh, that's the one that had the the um, Great Britain pounds in it. Oh, that's right. All right, I cast Mage Armor onto Jonathan Livingston Seagull. Let's see him. All right, I'm going to use. I think one that slot. gives you a 14, right? Yep. cast. That has been cast, and one slot has been taken. Oh, wait a second. I have three sl- slot spells, right? Okay, so there we go. All right, let's go back to the door. Just to be clear, I um, have three slots still taken up because we did not take a long rest, right? Mm. I believe so. Okay. Yes. I only have one spell slot left then. Oh, wow. Okay. I have one spell slot left too, apparently. I just realized. Same here. So that's up to you guys. If you want to, if you want to take another rest, you can. So Ryan, I have three slots for first level and three slots for second level. So I haven't used any of my second level slots yet, and I still have one on my first level. Oh, okay. Okay. I think I'm and good. And you can cast um, a lot of spells you can cast at a higher level to make them do more damage or more be more effective. Mm. Um, oh, okay. That's yeah, why it sorry. looks like you have that's... a lot more spells than you actually do because they're showing you, you know, this is what they do at second level. Yeah, my second is completely empty. So I have three, okay. I have four slots total. Oh, okay. Thank you for pointing that out. Well, what Brian is pointing out is that if you wish, if you use, for example, I have Chromatic Orb first level, and then it also appears in second level Chromatic Orb. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't mean I can cast it again if I don't have any more slots available on the first level that I already did, right? No, then you can you can only cast it at second level if that happens. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. So I have four slots available too. Yeah. You can just you can use all your spell slots for one spell if you want to. Yeah, yeah, okay. Well, We're fine. We found a scroll of cure wounds. I mean, we'll be fine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if yeah, if you want to, if you want to continue on, you can. And plus, we also have that cloak of displacement, so he should live a little longer. Oh, nice. that's right. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that that's the one that uh, that that Jonathan was wearing, I think, right? Mm-hmm. For us, uh, for a little bit. Okay, I'm back at the door. Zoe, Zoe catch up. Yay. All right. There you go. Okay, uh, you as you go through the door, um, there is a staircase going down, and uh, it smells it smells damp, and it's really quiet. Okay. Alrighty. Here You're a lady go like that once. Oh, it's a big, a big dock like thing, right? With a barge. Yep. Yep. You're, uh, yeah. You're, you're on a dock in the water. There's cave walls uh, beside you, so there's no way, there's no land to walk on at all. All you see is a raft, uh, and on the raft there's, um, oh god, well I don't know what you call the those big sticks that they use on gondolas to propel them forward, but that's what it, that's what you have. Yeah, barge, barge pole. Kind of... Tucker. What? There you go. I think it's just a barge pole. Yep. Barge ah. pole. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Okay. And Jonathan's uh, exploring out a little bit. There's also a super dense fog, uh, so that makes it really hard to see very far in front of you. Yeah. I'm just trying to, like, yeah, circle the barge a little bit, and yelling, okay. suckers, because I don't need it. I'm staying away from any ledges because I don't want the imp to kick me into the water. I guess I'll land on the post right there and see if a giant okay. monster comes well, out. 
I do have a uh, light. I can make light. Uh, does oh, cool. that go out 60 feet? Okay. Um, it says if I touch an object that is no larger than 10 feet until the spell ends, the object sheds bright light in a 20 foot radius and dim light oh, okay. for an additional 20 feet. So okay. if we touch the barge pole, can the barge pole also yeah. act as the light? Yeah, so they'd be like having a, b- a big lantern with you. Yeah, cool. Good thing. I mean, it's not great, but it's better than nothing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's sure. a good idea. So it's fog. It's not just like extra darkness. Okay, guys. Uh, can, no, can no, we it's see... just it's just it's just fog and and regular darkness. And there are, so, there are a couple of lanterns at the end of the at the end of the pier that were giving you light when you came down, but those mm-hmm. will, you know, those will recede as you, uh, if you mm-hmm. barge away. Yeah, I just, I have 120 foot dark vision, so. Okay, well, wow. Okay. Uh, Zoe, you can I fly, fly, right? You can float. I can fly and float, though I'm, uh, considering where we are, I don't think I'm gonna go swimming right now. Hmm. <laughs> so I do have the um, Tensor's floating disc. But I oh. think that only allows um, that. O- Oops, what did I do there? Sorry about that. Um, but I think that only allows me to carry people like 20 feet in front of me or something. Let me check. So I wouldn't be able to carry people over the water for uh, while I'm staying in in the in the pier. Hmm. Well, you guys have a boat, so you know we have a yeah. boat. Yeah, it's a little barge. Oh, All right, let's. Can we check the barge to see if it's uh, got any um, traps on it, or if it's stable enough oh, yeah. for all of us? Yeah, make an investigation check. All right, investigation check. Because I'm not going to get myself into a barge. This thing is a death trap. <laughs> well, I'm going to do another slightly larger circuit. My check was okay. 21. Well, you guys are. Ooh, lunch. <laughs> Check was twenty one. Oh, twenty one. Yeah, uh, with the twenty one, it it looks um, it looks old. It looks like it was made probably thirty or forty years ago, mm. um, but it looks sturdy enough. You don't see any um, you, you don't see any traps or anything. Okay. Um, all right. I'll take the plunge. I'll get myself into the barge. Okay. Tressa's gonna hop on also. Hey guys, I didn't see anything except some flotsam and jetsam and a dead body. A dead body? Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. You might want to steer to the right when you get out of here. To the right, okay. Yeah, or <laughs> I'm going to go land on it as it's floating. Just like <laughs> bobbing right here. <laughs> Please don't oh, go on my shoulder oh, after you touch the dead body. Um, traveling okay. on the barge, so, who, you won't be able uh, to, who, to move your characters because I have to group it so it travels together. Yeah. So if you wanna if you wanna move on the barge, you can. It'll just take us a bit to you know, take Rob a bit to ungroup and then move you. But it's no big deal. We can do that. Okay. And who's got the who's who's got the barge pull? Pull. Who wants to row? Yeah. Uh, music. Hey, did you? So did, I guess did, I'll guess. do the barge pull. Okay. So I can go ahead and have that uh, light cantrip. Yeah. Right, right, okay. Um, so cool. you okay? Yeah, you're in the front there, and uh, and if you can go about ten, f- the the boat can move about ten feet in a round, which is you know a round is only six seconds. Man, this reminds me of my time in Venice. First <laughs> yeah. time I ever drank coffee. He's a world traveler. Coffee or espresso? I don't know. It was gross. <laughs> what are you humans drink? Oh, so so Rob, who's, who's uh who's controlling the boat? I mean, as far as like, oh, you are. Okay. So are you guys going forward? Yeah, yes. but how, about how old is this corpse I landed on? Can I get a? Oh, it it it's uh it seems like it's been there for a while. Make Ooh. an investigation check. Yuck. It's got to be all slimy. It's 
Yeah, that's not gonna help. Nine. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's it's well. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's been there for a while. <laughs> uh -huh. Because I outpaced you guys, I, I'm gonna like. I guess I can spot a little bit. Sure. And I guess I'm gonna try to fly as quietly as possible. I don't know if I need to roll a stealth. Okay, make, make, make a stealth check, yeah. Oh, there's another dead body. Ugh. Let's steer clear of that. After all we've seen today, I think that's pretty... <laughs> 21. All right. Uh, yeah, you're pretty quiet. <laughs> I hope the body explodes. No, it doesn't. Okay. This is the first time all adventure I felt normal. Just following a boat. <laughs> hey, hey, Jonathan. <laughs> Can what? you see the? Can you see where we have any so, uh, solid ground to uh, go to? Uh oh. Uh oh. What was that? So you um, you do see a, 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 a boat that seems to have uh, some skeletal remains laying on it. Yeah. Well, I guess Rose didn't make out of this one either. <laughs> you guys want to check the boat? Why would you check the boat? Why would we check the boat? Yeah, it's it's okay. Yeah, you All said stick to the right. Skeletons. Okay. Apple gold. So when when the light uh, when the light from your boat gets on the uh, the skeletal boat, the skeletons all start standing up. <sighs> of course they do. Yeah, and uh, everybody roll for initiative. Alrighty. What what which die time. do we roll? Uh, so that's the twenty-sided die, and add the initiative bonus to it. Is that in the saving throws? It's uh, it's uh, right to the left of armor class. Gotcha. Initiative. Okay. I have rolled a. Oh my god. Is it twenty-one? So we got a nine, and you got a twenty-one. Okay. Yes. I I already put had my hand on my scabbard, and I'm ready to pull out my uh, ribbon sword. Uh, Ralph. Uh, roll a 19. And you do the Whoa, plus Chris one that you did, right? natural one for a yeah. two. I was just so I... surprised I was literally right that I got an eight. You got an eight? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I like, got an 18 plus my okay. initiative is plus four, so 22. Wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. And Ralph, did you say yours already? 19. 19. Did you add your initiative? Oh, yep. Okay. All right, we got it. And Musette, so you see, uh, you're you're standing in the front of the boat, and you start to see these skeletons stand up before anybody. Uh, you're so you're up first. Great. Okay. Uh, uh, some of the you see some of the skeletons hmm. are smaller, and there are two really big ones. Okay. Okay. And you're holding on to the, the pole. Uh, right. So you got that in both hands right now, too. Right. Okay. Well, so I guess might, if you, if, just kind of ahead. alert everybody. You know, what are they? Like at 12 o'clock? It looks like they're I guess kind that of would be like what, what, maybe 1 o'clock. <laughs> yeah. It'll be 11 because it's 11. Ready. From where you're. Oh, most... from her point of view. Yeah, yeah from right. my of, point of, of view, it's before. Ten thirty-eight. <laughs> <laughs> I measured it exactly, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we need like Ralph to turn around, and Tressa, I guess, to turn around. I oh. see. Okay, and then it says for light. If you target an object held or worn by a hostile creature... Okay, that doesn't do me anything. Sorry. So I would say that if you want to set your pole down, you can do that as a bonus action, so you'd still have your regular action. Okay. But... The light... Play us a song. 
This is pretty metal. Oh, okay. It looks <laughs> like I was in the basement of hell. Okay, but if I took but if I put it down, we won't have light anymore. How, how detrimental no, it, it, I, I, I imagined it being on the end of the pole. So if you lay the pole down across the boat, it would still, the light would still be there. It'd it's just be still hanging, on? You know. yeah. I don't have to be physically touching the pole? No. Okay. No. Or you can cast it on one of the skeletons. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and they're just walking around with a light, like in their shoulder. And, uh, and uh, Churdovir is going to be next. All right, I got my magic missile getting set up here. Actually, maybe a Numa. I haven't used that one a lot. And that one's pretty powerful. I hear a dog. I hear a dog uh, in Gregorius' nice. hell. <laughs> You're not close to the last level, then. Skeletons are barking at us. That's weird. We must have a little skeleton dog. Yeah. Oh my God. Yes. That'd be awesome. Or that little ghost dog from Nightmare Before Christmas. I have a skeletal dog in Skyrim. It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Pinhead's dog in Bloodline. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. So, are you waiting for me now? No, no, it's still Catalina's turn. I got you. Ah, all right. Um, my turn is over. <laughs> oh, can uh, it be over? You, well, you like I said, you can put the pole down as a bonus action. Is there something else you wanted to do? Uh, I don't think that I really have anything right now to do. Because, okay. um, you know, all of my lower level spells are pretty much gone. You could stick out some yeah, uh, and you have your um, the, all the spells from your lyre, or the charges are used up on it. I can't. So, is this it? Uh, oh. Wait. And and also you have a gun. <laughs> yeah. I do, yeah. don't I? Yeah. Inspirational. And you guys refilled all your bullets in your guns when you went on your uh, break back in the tent. Cool. Cool. I am so sorry, y'all. Yeah, that's okay. okay. So, yeah, so you... let's just go with gun, since that is, uh, um, yeah, that will do something. We didn't mention this in the recording yet, but Catalina just uh, sprained her ankle, right? So you're in in uh, agonizing pain. Nah. Maybe she needs that scroll. Should fax it yeah, over. Yeah. Fax magical scrolls, like, do they still work? That would be awesome. Uh, ish. <laughs> okay, uh, so yeah, shoot, shoot, uh, shoot, shoot these guys here. Okay. Uh, yeah, so there's a, there's one in the front. Uh, it looks like he's getting a, a, a bow ready. You could probably hit him. Okay. So really feel like we need to play this more than once a month. I'm so sorry. Okay, uh, <laughs> okay. so I roll to hit? Yep. Okay, yep. oh god. Nine. Okay, and you add the to hit bonus up from the gun. Did you already do that? Uh, nope. Okay, plus five, okay. 14. Yeah, that hits. So roll your gun's damage. So 2d6 plus 3, 4... Six, ten, thirteen total. Okay, actually, uh, thirteen was exactly what you needed. So you hit that skeleton right in the head, and his head explodes, and he ah, topples okay. topples over the front of the boat into the water, and he's gone. Yes. Shoot it out. That's probably not good life advice. What's that? I said, when in doubt, shoot it out. But I was like, it's <laughs> okay. probably not good life advice. <laughs> I can think of a few situations. <laughs> yeah. All right, that was pretty good. Okay. And uh, Churdovir is next. All right, I'm like, we're about to get boarded by a boat full of skeletons, and uh, you know, I I take my hand to my mouth, and I <laughs> send a Numa into the uh, closest skeleton. Uh, let's see, I 
can't really see very well. Okay, that's the okay. The, there is a big, a big tall one with, with uh, axe. cow horns. Yeah, yeah, and he's got an axe. Yeah, yeah. I point at right center mass, and I <laughs> send the numa. Okay. Let's uh, roll for. Uh, let's see. I think that okay. one has a spell attack on it. A spell attack. Rather than a saving throw. Yeah. Okay. Um, I cast that. What does it say on there? I got a twenty-three. Okay. Con. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, you totally hit. Is that okay. does the does D and D Beyond tell you if you got a natural twenty? No, I got eighteen plus five for hit. Oh, okay. Oh, good. Yeah. Okay. It does. It says, That's right. It shows you the math. Okay. Yeah. It says a bullet of breath fourth energy streaks towards a creature within range. It's one hundred twenty feet, by the way. Make a range spell attack against the target. On a hit, the target takes one d ten force damage. Additional D10 per spell level. So I'm I'm casting Numa Bullet level two. So I rolled two tens, right? Rolled two yeah. ten sided yeah. die. Okay. Here goes the first one. I got a six. Like the dash is the bottom of the number, right? So that's a six. And I got a three. So I got nine okay. points. Nine points against the uh, the big Giant guy. Okay. Cow headed skeleton. Yeah, so you you uh, you knock a big chunk um, out of his shoulder, but he seems yeah. to be still upright. And he's still holding the axe. Yeah. Okay. All right, and he is next. Is my mage uh, armor still active? Uh, yeah, it works for eight hours. Eight so hours, if you right. guys didn't sleep or anything, you're good. Cool, cool. And, um, oh, Rob, I sent you a text message. I don't know if you saw it yet. Okay. okay. And I read skeletons. He is going to attempt to uh, leap across the across the the water yeah Yikes. and uh, gore and he's gonna try to gore um, Musette so I'm gonna say that would be an athletics check for him to make that uh yeah cause he's like one two three loop loop oh four? okay well let's go it's like 20 feet away, right? Oh, and he makes it. So he oh. runs. Uh, Rob, can can you make it so I can... Uh, can you make it so I can control him? Whoa. And he jumps off of the... Off of his boat and lands on the top of your raft. And you feel... And everybody kind of feels the raft shake. Hold on, everybody. Not everybody. And, uh, he he's he's gonna gore Musette. So first he's got a rolled hit. So that's a nineteen. Does nineteen beat your armor class? Um, my armor class is fifteen. So yes, it does. All right. Yeah. So he got you. Uh, crap. Ooh. Jeez. He, he got uh, 16 damage. Ouch. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Okay, so I need to subtract. Wait, I'm just dead, huh? Oh, wait, I'm sorry. I rolled the wrong I rolled the wrong thing. That was his axe. I need to roll for... So don't take that damage off yet. I need to do... Even more. Uh, no, it's actually <laughs> less. Like, Musette, no! Yeah. Uh, 14 <laughs> damage. At least he didn't knock her off yet. Yeah. Okay. So. And uh, and mm -hmm. and make us make a strength saving throw also. Okay, which is which one? Uh, so you go to the saving throws on the left side of the upper left, and uh -huh. there should be one that says STR on it. Okay, and I just what do I do? So you I'm roll twenty sided <laughs> die, and you add that number to it. Okay. Well, my strength saving throw is plus zero. And I got oh, okay. So you just a rolled nine. twenty. Yeah, I got nine. a nine. Oh. 
Okay, um, so he knocks you 10 feet away, and so that means he, he knocks you off the boat. You're into the water. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and this next one... Um, He, uh, there's, so there's a whole, there's another boat full of skeletons also, and he, uh, charges and also tries to jump onto the boat. Wow. And he makes it. And Being boarded! Uh, yeah. <laughs> and he's going to do the same kind of gore attack against, uh, Chertovir. Oh, man. You should have. You should have activated your Jedi mind. Uh, so he got a he got an eighteen to hit. I ma- imagine that hits you. Should grab that pole and move away from the boat. Okay. So um, make a strength That's saving okay. throw. Strength saving. Okay. Okay. I get. Come on, baby. Oh, Jesus! I got an eight. Okay. Yeah. You. Um, yeah, you got knocked into the water to the north of the boat there. Okay, I got knocked in the water. Yeah. Well, this is a remarkable uh, strategy. You got and you took twelve damage. I got a thousand gold in my backpack. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Am I sinking like a rock or is it okay? I got a floating uh, backpack. Well, when when we get to your turn, we'll, okay. we'll deal with it. All right. All right. Someone's going to have to save that gold with mage hand. Okay. Um, and Sploosh. the other one is oh. going to hold his turn because he's not close enough to do that. And uh, now it is Ralph's turn. Hello. Wreck it, Ralph. Okay. <laughs> There's two You're of us in the water, by the way. There's nothing I can do to... This water is smelly. Oh, I'm on the wrong thing. Okay. <laughs> There we go. All right. No. Here we are. Okay. Okay. So these guys, I'm gonna. This guy right here that's on the raft, I'm gonna elders, elders blast him. Okay, the one you're pointed at. Yeah. Okay. Roll to hit. Roll twenty. Uh. Yep. I rolled a 15. And then okay. my... And then what do I add to it? Uh, the spell attack bonus. It should be on the spell, if, you, if you're if you looking at the spell. My it spell attack like bonus. To hit, oh. to hit uh, DC, something. Uh, five, plus 5, so 20. Yeah, you definitely hit him. Yeah. Okay, roll your damage. Same dice? Yeah. No, you're damn it. Oh. Eight-sided dice? Whatever it says on your uh, your D and D Beyond. Yeah, I think that's a, a Eldritch Blast oh. is probably a ten. Yep. Oh, the okay. Is my ten? No. Here it is. I rolled a six. Okay. Um. Yeah. So he takes six damage. It's kind of loud, isn't it? <laughs> Someone got flushed. Yeah. It was you. You're flushed now. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah, I don't know how to control the volume on that particular like web browser, so I think I'm just gonna not. I last time I just added in the music in, which doesn't help you guys, but. Well, it's raining over here. So it oh. sounds like a thunderstorm over here. All right. I was kind of confused for a second there. <laughs> and um, quick consult with Rob because of uh, because I'm doing the map for everybody else to see. I can't see where the stuff is. Um,
Oh, right. And uh, one more of them is uh, is going to take an axe swing at uh, Jonathan. From the boat? I'm flying. How far up are you flying? Well, I guess I, as far as it takes to see. I don't know what the visibility is, so you might still look yeah. at me. Probably 20 feet. I'll dodge. Well, 20 feet is about the limit of how far people are able to see in the fog. Yeah, yeah. yeah. if it's a big giant minute or... Or they would start yeah. throwing their axes at, at Jonathan like the last time. <laughs> he, he can only reach uh, he can only reach for five feet though. Oh, okay, but he's, he's yeah. like he's probably tall. So are, are you are you too far up for him to to swing his axe at? I mean, I would say of course, but that's more of your call. If I'm low enough to see him, you know, and he can still hit me, I'll dodge. Well, and he's um, he's taller than everybody else. Yeah. I, yeah, I'm not arguing. I'm just okay, dodging. I'm going to say, well, we'll just roll a die and decide if you're close enough. Okay, the dice gods shall decide. Yeah, so you he does take a swing at you. Does he have disadvantage because you're flying? Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, no, I'm reaction dodging. Okay, Whoa. because you're, yes. Um, so that is a two plus six, so he got a, a, a eight. That is yeah. a big fat no. Okay, he swings at you, but you kind of dodge out of the way. Got a little bit of rain ASMR going on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a lot of seagull noises. Just press seagull noises. I'll let everyone know something's going on. Okay. From the water, I yell out, watch out, little buddy. <laughs> I am probably in less trouble than you are. Yeah, this water I smells. just leave. <laughs> My boots are wet. I turn invisible and fly away. Paddling, trying to stay afloat. And now it's uh, Zoe is up, and then Jonathan will be after Zoe. All right, I am going to do guiding bolts. Okay. Bad 18 and seventeen. Oh yeah, you hit. Roll damage. Is it this is the one that's directly in front of you, right? Right. And that's the one that people have been hitting. How much damage did you do? Oh, the, the my first roll on under the hit um, DC was 18, and then the effect uh, was 17. So 18 and 17. So roll the hit was 18, and the damage was 17. Okay. Correct. Got it. Thank you. So I'm sorry. I thought you heard me say, say the first number for before. Okay. So not only that guy, not only did that guy just take a bunch of damage, um, but he's glowing. So the next person that attacks him can roll with advantage. Awesome. Yeah. Your guiding bolt does that. Um, and Jonathan is next. All right. I'm going to fly back over here toward them screaming. There are more coming, but I guess that's redundant at this point. Um, and this guy's the one that took the Numa bullet, and this guy, they both look about equally beat up, I'm assuming. So I'll just firebolt the glowing one. Sorry, I'm strategizing. Okay, with, with Rob. 
Um, so you're firebolting the glowing one. Okay, roll to hit with advantage. All right, I got a... Eighteen. Eighteen. Okay, yeah, that hits. For two Four damage. damage. Two? No, two. Okay. Yeah, you definitely singed one of his horns. Well, that was helpful. And then as a, I don't know, as a bonus action or while I'm moving, I want to um, yell for Musette to sing us a song. And Ralph, make sure you poke <laughs> on. She, um, Musette just fell in the water and she's she's struggling for air. Sea <laughs> shanty. Sea shanty. Okay. Yeah. Just to remind people. And I'm good. I am okay. good. And another larger skeleton who is not as big as the one um, the, the ones that are on your raft right now steps forward on the on the top boat there and throws a javelin at Ralph. A javelin? Yeah. Oh shit. Okay. Well, fuck this guy. I'm gonna react to that. Is on it. Let me find out what my reactions okay. are. Yeah, yeah. Um, Rob, can you move that guy uh, up to the front of the boat? The uh, the big ogre skeleton there. Uh, the other boat. But we, you can do him. You might as well leave him there, though. That's fine. I guess he'll he'll go next. All right. Well then. So the, uh, the the boat that's up on the top. Yeah, there we go. That one. And the range for that is, I think, only thirty feet. So let's see if he can hit. I think he should be able to hit Ralph. Pretty close. Oh man. Oh my God. There's two boats. I just noticed. There's more coming. Oh, oh, there, there are three, three boats. Okay, well, this be so the end of um, our adventures. So, yeah. Rob, can you tell? Is that uh, to to Ralph? Is that tw is that thirty feet, or is it a little more? Oh wow! 25. Yeah. Okay. So. Wait. Why is when the DM measures? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that guy gets me. And yeah. he's 30 feet away. Yeah, and that's the range on a javelin. So he got... Ah, fuck this guy. 14. Does 14 hit? On my armor class? Yeah. My, arm my armor class is 15. Oh, he missed. So there's a javelin that's that's stuck into the boat, um, into the boat right by your feet. Well, this javelin's mine now. <laughs> yeah. And then this and... other one is going to throw a javelin at Musette, who's in the stuck in the water. Oh, I want to react to this guy, or does it because? Oh yeah, yeah, right. You have reactions. Yeah. You... Oh, I'm okay. gonna hit him with a hellish rebuke. Okay. Um, I forget that's a. Is, there's a saving throw for that, I think. Um. You point the finger at the creature that damaged you is momentarily surrounded by hellish flames. A creature must take a dexterity saving throw. It takes 2d10 fire damage on a failed save, or half as okay. much damage on a successful one. Okay, so what does he have to get on the saving throw? What's the, what does it say? DC something for the dexterity saving throw? Uh, bu -bu -bu -bum. Uh, oh, here on the you know, three, it says 3d10 Dexterity thirteen. Oh, thirteen. That's it. Okay. Um. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Dex right. thirteen. Okay, so he got a he got an eighteen. So oh. he takes, I believe, he takes half damage then. Okay. Did you say something, Rob? 
No. Okay. So we'll go ahead and roll your damage. Uh, twenty sided dice. Right. It's it's whatever Wait. it says for the damage for the oh, spell. Oh, three d ten. Sorry. Yeah. It says it right in front of me. Ah. I got a four plus where my uh see see you roll the ten sided die three times. Oh three times? Yeah. Seven zero. So, so eleven zero is a ten. Oh. Well there you go. So what so does that a, add up uh, to? It's a it's a twenty one. Okay. Twenty one total? Yeah. All right, that uh, did a pretty good amount of damage to him. All right. And so everybody, what everybody sees is is uh, Ralph says something in this infernal hellish language, and all of a sudden, um, fire bursts off of this uh, skeleton. Quite the comeback. Okay, and now the other one is going to throw a javelin at Musette. There go Ralph. Yeah. Wreck it, Ralph. So he he got a twenty, not a natural twenty. So he is going to do uh, eight damage to Musette in the water. Wow. Okay. Quick question, Ryan. How many hit points did I did I uh, suffer? Oh, that was a while back. Well, I know music got seventeen. I forget what yours were. I'm sorry about that. I think it might have been thirteen or something. Does anybody remember? Sounds okay. about right. I remember it being less than Musette's and more than ten. I had two digits. <laughs> So what should I put in, Ryan? Like 13? Yeah, 13, I guess. Okay. Okay. Oh, boy. Hurt bad. All right. Um, so two skeletons fire uh, arrows into the water at at the uh, Oh, great. All right. They, they've, they've, got, uh, sh they've got short bows. Okay. Where are these skeletons with the bows? I uh, they're on the, they... they're on the boats. Um, okay, because I only see two boats. There's yeah, they're, it's the the boat oh, that's two. the closest to you. There, there, there's you, two two skeletons with. Uh... Yep, I see it. Huh. So you take twelve damage from arrows. You get hit by two arrows. Okay, and I am down to zero points. Oh, oh my gosh, and in the water. He's yes. floating. Uh, here come the death saves. <laughs> Can Lori resuscitate him with her magic spells? I forgot what it's called. Darn it. uh, yeah. I got, I got the cure wounds scroll in my inventory, but now I'm floating around. Yeah. And the scrolls so you see Cherdovir kind of... Uh, Turn over on uh, face down in the water. Oh, face down? No. <laughs> I have spare the dying. So, living creature that has zero hit points, they become stable at least. Yeah, but I think you have to touch them. Yeah. Someone needs to use the pole barge to flip me over, at least so I can breathe. Okay. Got and it. so, two other ones are attacking um, Jonathan. Oh. No. And they actually rolled really badly, so they got a nine and a Oh my eight. god. And yeah, then here. two more are shooting at um shooting at uh Musette. More are coming. Oh my god, one of them got a natural twenty and the other one got a oh nineteen. We're all gonna die! Oh, oh my god. Gonna kill us! Gonna kill us! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> you and you Rob are gonna, gonna kill die. us! Yeah, it's almost time for Jericho Squad 78. Oh, no. Oh, man. Okay. 
Um, so... Seven, uh, so you take seven damage from arrows. Okay. That's total from both? Yeah, that's both arrows. Okay. Oh, wait, no, I forgot one of them I'm supposed to double. No! Um, thank you for reminding me. No! <laughs> okay, I'm back at nine, and I'm not going to okay. touch it, but I'm pretty sure I'm dead. I'll double the one that, were, that rolled a one, so that's a six plus four is ten damage. Okay. Well, I guess, yeah. Blub, blub. Success, failure, success, death saves. Oh, okay. Yeah, that starts on your next turn. So you're also just floating in there in the water. Okay. Jeez. Put my face up. <laughs> so wait, is Musette all, dead? All, uh, Musette is not dead. She's just floating in the water unconscious right now. Oh, that's fucking great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's much better. <laughs> yeah. What is Tessa, T- Tessa doing? Is she doing anything? It, well, it's her turn right now. All right. So... Huh. <laughs> Tessa, stop being useless. <laughs> she she rolled a two on her initiative. Damn it. I can see why her Jericho squad died. Wow, that's oh. harsh. Did, 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 <laughs> oh, you can't say that. You're you're unconscious. Okay, yeah. I just <laughs> little bubbles come out from underneath me. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Useless <laughs> Tessa. <laughs> I'm just as useless as Tessa. I'm a lizard man who can't swim. Unless it's in the garbage. Yeah. She's going to um, dive into the water and cast Cure Wounds on on, uh, Musette. Just because Musette was closer than Churduvir. Wait, why did Tessa fall in the water? I missed that. She jumped she in just, the water. She just jumped oh. in the water, and she's she has to touch her to do cure wounds. So actually, she's instead of cure wounds, I think she's gonna do. Um, yeah, she's gonna use lay on hands. So, how many? How what's your total hit points? Mine. Yeah. I uh, they're thirty one. Okay, she can't do that much. She'll give you, uh, she'll give you nineteen. Okay, so I hit nineteen in healing. Yeah. Ah, this is one hundred and ninety. Yep. So you're you're uh, back conscious again. And Thank that, you. I'm gonna see if she has any bonus actions. Oh, okay. She is going to. Let's see what this. Sorry, I'm dealing with a lot of stuff. Okay. She's, as a bonus action, she'll give you Shield of Faith that adds two to your armor class. Okay. So. So you, that, that's gonna last for an hour, as long as she can concentrate, I think. Okay. So I don't need right, to do anything in my sw- D&D Beyond. She's swimming around in... The- no, you can do... Well, I think if you click on armor class, you can add a temporary two points to it. Yeah, under customize. There's additional magic bonus. You can add a two to that. Okay. And for anybody that's got uh, mage armor, you can use do that in there, too. Okay, what if I um, that's a, that's her turn. Unfortunately, she didn't get to attack because of that, but now Musette is back. And it's Musette's turn. Ooh. Instead of having to do a death save, you can actually do something. Yay! So this is actually a, a question. Mm-hmm. Okay, so if I do a fly... It says if you cast a spell using a spell slot of fourth or higher, then I can do that for another person as well. But I don't yeah, have it, and it should say in my fourth level. If you should you should say on your on your it should say on your Klee liar what level it casts spells at. Okay, and how can I look at that? Um, oh, Klee liar. Oh, right here. 
Well, is that you or your liar? It's it's the liar is the is what casts it's that what spell. Casts I that think. One. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's what casts fly. Okay. okay. So, so it, it looks, looks like fly is only available, available for third. Oh, fly is a, it's doing it as a third level spell, so you can't fly. You can fly, fly yourself then. I can fly myself or another person, but not two yeah. people. Is what it's yeah. saying. Okay. Well, I want to go ahead and get um, Trudevir out of the water. Still. I so think. Which... I think. Well, it it has to be a willing creature, is and he's unconscious. Ah. And yep, I think really... you also probably can't see him because of the boat being in between you. No way. And I think you gotta touch him anyway, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it says touch, and it also says willing. So you all yeah. Uh, I, I couldn't do that anyway. You okay. would be willing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. well, I'm gonna go ahead and get myself back on the boat. Okay. Um... And it looks like the only way I can do that is for me to fly. Yeah, well, you can you can climb up on the boat. It'll take yeah. a, it'll take a, half your movement and a, a, an athletics oh, check to get up there. Okay, my athletics isn't great, but yeah, let's do that. Cause I'd rather save the spell, the spell slot. Okay. Yeah, I can speak this way. Okay. okay. Um, and then you said an athletics check. Yeah. Which is so you just click on the athletic skill up okay. at the top of the list of skills there, or near the top. Okay, and then I just what do I do? It says half. Uh, so you roll a twenty-sided die and you add the athletics bonus if there is one. Okay. Ah, five plus one. So I got six. Okay. Yeah, the, the 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 side of the boat is a uh, is a little slippery, and it is pointed down in the water towards you because of the heavy uh, minotaur skeleton there. But um, it's slippery, and you aren't able to climb up. So, but that I'll say that was your movement. You can still do something from in the water if you want to. Okay. Well, can I attack that guy's legs? Uh. Yes. Well, how how are you going to attack him? I mean, which uh, one? It, can I use my pistol, or is it too wet? No, you. I'll, yeah, you can use your pistol. I I'll say. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, pistol. I got an eighteen. That hits. Okay. Um, two d six plus three. One, four, five, plus three is eight. Okay. Eight is the damage. All right. You took a chunk out of his leg. And uh, Churdovir, make a, a roll a 20-sided die. 20-sided die. Yes, sir. Let me grab that real quick. Okay, I got my die. I will roll it. Twelve. Okay, so you get that's one. Uh, that's one. Um, one. One save. Okay. First save is. Do you click? You click on the. I forget how it is. The positive and negative ones, right? So Wait a minute. Can I? Can I roll the death save on on D and D Beyond? Uh, okay, I just maybe. I did twelve. I don't. I've never tried that. Okay, I did you already 12 rolled a 12. On the dice. Yes. Yeah, so you passed. So if you re-rolled it now, you might not. Okay. So that yeah, that was one pass. Do I mark that on Can D&D you... Beyond as as a success? Uh yes. Uh, yes, yeah, that's exactly. one. one success. Okay, got it. And you need three successes to uh to to stabilize and survive. Okay. Okay. Hard. Um and next up is Minotaur Skeletons again. Okay, this one that got hit by the Guiding Bolt is gonna is gonna charge up to Zoe. What a and, bully. Uh, uses Gore Attack. 
Whoa, man, I feel bad. I should use. I should maybe switch my dice. Well, okay, so he got. He hit. <laughs> Okay, so he did. Thirteen uh, damage. He did thirteen damage and make a strength saving throw. And do a, a what saving throw? A strength saving throw. Strength. Ah! Oh, one! Well, that's a strength check. You need to do a saving throw. Oh. Twenty. Woo! Wow. Okay. Yeah. You. Um. So he he gored you, but you you took damage, but you're able to kind of sidestep it a little bit, so you didn't get knocked uh, ten feet backwards. Okay. All right. And the other one is going to do the same thing to Ralph. I'm going to get my famous uh, green die to help you guys out because this one rolled three ones in a row one time. Watch, you're going to crit him. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> okay, that was a three to hit. Maybe not. Yeah. Uh, three your plus fixed six. dice. So it's a nine, yeah. Broken. So he missed. And I think you have that cloak on now, right? Ralph, so there's also, um, I forget what the displacement thing does. I think it's just disadvantage. Oh, he has disadvantage. To... Okay. Well, I have disadvantage? Why no, do I have he disadvantage? has disadvantage to attack you. But you might have to turn it on. You might want to check that real quick. My uh, cloak? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay hold on. It, it makes it so everybody sees two of you, and so it's harder to hit you. Uh, yeah. Inventory. Let me. I'm. I'm getting there. Sorry, guys. Um, when you wear this cloak, it projects an illusion that makes you appear to be standing in a place near your actual location, causing any creature to have disadvantage on attack rolls against you. If you take damage, the property ceases to function until the start of your next turn. This property is okay. suppressed while you are incapacitated, restrained, or otherwise unable to move. Okay. So he had disadvantage attacking you, yeah. and he missed anyway. Sweet. Wow. That bastard. You got to attack me. That thing's awesome. But, um... Can I have a reaction since he missed me? Uh, yeah. What do you want to do? Uh, I'm gonna... I want to hit him. <laughs> um, with my moon sword. Can I hit him with my okay, moon sword? Okay, well, you have to... That I, That's not a reaction. Oh, no? Right? Oh, it yeah, says, if uh... Yeah, you click on, on actions and then reactions, it tells you the different things you can do. So, like, opportunity attack is if somebody tries to disengage from combat and run away from you, you can get a, an opportunity attack. Oh, well, screw it. I'll just hit him with Hellish Rebuke again. Uh, how many times can you do that per day? I thought it was just once. Oh, it doesn't say. Two seconds. Two seconds. It's not under... Oh, Hellish Rebuke. Uh, time, 1R, 3D. Um... Source of he has to be passing. Damaged. One rebuke. Oh, I'm sorry. He has what? to be what? You, you, it's in reaction to being damaged, so you actually have to get hit. Oh, well, I didn't get hit, so okay, I can't do any reaction. Well, then, I'm sitting here, laughing. Ah, okay. uh, you missed me. All right, so that's those two, and uh, the third boat. Did did that? Um, did that one move another? Can that one move another ten feet? Next is Ralph's turn. Okay. Uh, where am I? This is 
is where I am. I got these two guys in front of me. All right. Well, then I'm just going to... Uh, we don't have anything. So um, I'll just do uh, Eldritch Blast on this uh, guy right in front of me. Okay. Uh, roll the hit. I rolled a one. <laughs> oh, okay. I yeah. gotta get out the chart. I rolled a one. And that, uh... That wasn't good. Yeah. Plus five, so six. Can I take a bonus action? Uh, hold on. We gotta deal with you getting a natural one. Oh, man. You didn't just fail, you critically failed. Yeah. I did. The dice are gonna kill us all. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you, so your your uh when when your spell went off, it kinda went off up near your face and it blinded you for the rest of your turn. That's fucking great. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh my god. I Wait, dubbed this raft the SS Losers Club. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um so yeah, you you do it you that was your action if you have something you want to do with the bonus action you can. Someone I, I, fish me out of the water. <laughs> I did want to fish you but I don't have my rope in my backpack. I'm coming. So anyway, uh where am I? A bonus action? I want to do a bonus action. So all I can really do since I haven't done it is bite this guy. <laughs> is that is that a, a bonus action? I it's thought my that was bonus just an action. action. Hungry Jaws is a bonus action. Oh, Hungry Jaws because you're a reptile guy. Yeah. So oh, all that's I, cool. All I can really do is bite this guy. All right. Uh, and so I yeah, to... are you going to do that? Yeah. What do I roll? Uh, yeah, you'd make an attack roll, I think. How, is that what it says? Um, you can make a bite attack. If it hits, you gain two temporary hit points. Oh, okay. So you don't, but you must do damage also, right? Uh, that doesn't say I do damage. Well, yeah, it says he makes a bite attack. Yeah, it makes, uh, yeah, it makes, oh, I make okay. a bite attack. Oh, okay. So you, you got to look at your, at your list of attacks and, and roll the hit with that, with the bite. Okay, so what do I roll? The 20? Actually, yep. 20s, but... What's up? Oh, you're blind. I'm blind. Oh, yeah, so you gotta roll roll with disadvantage, so you roll twice and take the lower number. You shouldn't do that anymore. Uh, 10 and 18. That's great. Okay, so 10 uh, plus, 10. uh, what's the, what's the bonus, the attack bonus for the bite? Uh, I guess it says 2. That's it. Two temporary hit points. Doesn't say anything no, no. else. No, no. The that where it says uh, hit slash. Let's see on on the where it says hit slash DC. That's what you add to the bite attack roll. Okay, that that information's not next. Oh, sorry. Um, hit slash DC uh, plus three. Sorry. Okay, so that's a thirteen. Thirteen. Yeah, I just okay. Sorry. Um. So, and that was against this minotaur here. Um. That hits. Yeah. Cool. Uh, how much? How much damage did I end up getting, by the way? Um. Sorry. Did you roll your damage yet? I don't know. You have to roll it. Oh, which one's what, that? What's the damage on the bite attack? On the the damage on the bite attack, oh, yeah. it's one d six plus one. Okay, so roll that. Uh, which dice is that? The one d six. Normal one. <laughs> What'd you say? The normal dice. Oh God, that's right. <laughs> it's the only time you get to roll a normal dice. Six. Plus one. Plus one is seven. 
Sorry. No. That was great. You healed yourself and hurt him. Sweet. Okay, yeah, so you, so you, how much damage was it? Seven. Wow, okay. In the face. I bit him. All right. Pour some rib bones out and just eat them. <laughs> like, I guess it's kind of like beef ribs, right? <laughs> and I'm sure these have been well aged. Yeah, it's just a hint of swamp water to remind you of home. <laughs> okay. Um, So, um, all right, uh, the, the, uh, imp appears. It's not invisible anymore. And it is going to stab Cherdovir. Oh. So he has a bandage to hit. Wow, he rolled terrible on both of those. That 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 green the the cursed green die got a one. <laughs> and but then he got I got a three on the other one. I stand so, correctly. Yeah, he tried to attack Cherdovir, but he missed, which is a a, a pretty ter a, a pretty sad uh, considering he's not even moving. Right. So he really wanted to make sure I was dead, huh? Yeah. yeah. So what is that thing? Is that like a imp? Yeah, oh. he, well, it's a, it's a, in, in Barker verse, he's a, a yattering. Oh, okay. Yeah, so he like was an, in the boat? Imp. Yeah. Gosh. Okay. He so I'm still down flowing. and he, he has a scorpion tail and he swooped down and tried to stab at you with it, but he missed. Okay, cool. You're bobbing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Zoe is next. Still bobbing. Okay. I'm going to go pretty low tech and just use my automatic pistol. There we go. All right, uh, and this is on the one in front of you. Correct. Right. Uh, okay. The hit DC is twelve. Yeah, and uh, you hit him. And damage. That's exactly what you needed. 10. All right. And damage. Right. Okay. You blew off one of his ribs. Careful, those are the okay. best parts. Jonathan's turn. All right, I'm gonna swoop down and land on Bobbing Chert over here and try, or and try like turn him enough so I can get into his pouch and get that scroll of cure wound and kill him. Okay. Uh, make him um, make an investigation check. Oh, uh, this could be. Oh, that wasn't bad. 18? Yeah, 18. Yeah, uh, you you were able to, uh, to, since you're pretty good at digging through uh, bodies in the water, yeah, yeah. you're you're able to uh, to dig out that scroll and you, you pull it out. I'm assuming also with the help of your mage hand. Yeah. Does he flip me over? Yeah, and I'll try to like leave him so he can breathe and then cast uh, okay. your wounds on you. All right, roll the, the healing. It's a level one cure wounds. Is so just four? yeah, do do D eight plus your um your spell bonus. Yeah. All right. Yep. Eight. Uh, eight total. Eight total. Yeah. Okay, so you go from zero to eight hit points, and All you're right. conscious. 
So what do I do and, with the death saves? I mark two successes and add. No, uh, once you put the heal, once you put those hit points in there, the death saves go away. Uh, You'll gotcha. just be back up to conscious again. And have I hit can't seem and to stuff. change you know, my. Here, you should think about defense. Mm -hmm. It's it's when you uh, it's when you click on the healing and you add the eight hit points, all the death save stuff goes away. So when the failure, uh, the death saves box is open, there's no way for me to access my hit points. Yeah, there, well, there's a place that where you can put in healing. Still, um, I do not see it. Okay, and then for the end of my turn, I'm going to fly away from him, and I guess take the attack opportunity. Yeah, is there. that at disadvantage, or are you going to try to dodge again? Well, I had a question. I don't remember. Does my reaction refresh at the end of my turn or the beginning? Whatever. Okay. I, I guess he's most likely to try to hit me anyway. I'm um, healed. Yeah, I would say it. Well, it, it's still the end of your turn anyway. Are you going to have something else you can do? Well, but I could save the reaction in case somebody tries to hit me the next turn. You know what I mean? Yeah. But if I use up reaction this turn, I won't have it. We didn't, and we didn't specify that. Yeah, I don't remember. I. Okay. I'm feeling lucky. Just, just do it. Okay. <laughs> so that way, you can look that up later. All right. Okay, he tries to sting you with his tail. Yeah, he got a 19. Yeah, uh, we'll hit. Okay. So you take six piercing damage. Ouch. And make a constitution saving throw. 21. 21? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, you uh, you shrug off most of the damage from the uh, poison. You're trying to poison the guy that eats garbage for breakfast? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, I rolled really high on this. I want to. So sixteen you. divided by two, so you take eight more poison damage. Ugh. Better make this worth it, Joe de Bear. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure I'll, the math worked out on that one. I'll do whatever I can. Maybe I should have taken that reaction. All right, so we were on... Um... So did you get hit by the imp or something? I did, yeah. Okay. Swinging by to save you. Well, I got Tensor's floating disc, so we'll see what happens. Okay, um, so Rob, can you move the two skeleton boats up so they're touching the raft? Uh, and move the other one uh, 10 feet closer. Barbosa is attacking. Yeah. Okay, the, the shit lake. skeleton uh, jumps across. And he gets on the raft. It's a tight squeeze, though. I don't know if he can do anything. Ah. Uh, okay. I guess he's going to wait there to see if Churilvir climbs back in the boat. Oh. Uh. And the other ogre, the, the one to the south, also climbs up on the boat. I can't click on that. Ah. Uh. So the one on the boat south is gonna oh, yeah. okay okay the ogre skeleton okay yeah and uh, he's also kind of blocked by the minotaur skeleton so he is just gonna turn actually uh, Musette was trying to climb up so I think he would attack her yeah he's gonna swing at your hands with his great club. Oh, wow. That is a 19 to hit. Or 21. So. Mm. 
He smashes your hands with his club. He does 10 damage to Musette. This skeleton saw what uh, Jonathan was doing, and so he is going to fire an arrow at him. But that missed. And then uh, two skeletons on this other boat are going to fire at, I guess, Pressa. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, they both hit. She takes 10 damage. She's got a couple of arrows sticking in her. And now it is Tressa's turn. Can I yell something at Tressa? Um, well, you can't really see her. I okay. think you were unconscious when she went in the water, so you don't even know where she is. Got it. Okay, so she is going to swim up here and do uh, Wrathful Smite. She's going to cast Wrathful Smite on herself and then attack skeleton's ankles with her glaive. Yeah, crush those feet. All right, that definitely hits. So, 10 plus 4, and then plus... another 6. Alright, do 6. So she does 10 damage to him. She slashes into his ankles. Way to go, Tessa. Tressa. Okay. And those two, um, those two minotaur skeletons are looking pretty beat up. They've had a lot of chips and stuff taken out of them. And uh, Musette, it's your turn. You're muted, I think. Yeah. I'm sorry. Okay, so uh, I'm going to try to climb up there again using mostly my legs. What do I do for that? Uh, uh, yeah, make an athletics check. Oh, nine plus one, ten. Okay, yeah, ten is exactly what you needed. Um, so you, you, you knew that the boat was slippery, so this time you're able to grab onto the leg of the minotaur skeleton and pull yourself up onto the boat. And so you still, um, that was just your movement, so you still can do something if you want. Okay. You got action and bonus action. Okay. And Chertavir will be next. Yes. So let's see. What do I have? Okay, I'd like to use do Cloud of Daggers oh, wow. on Classic. five, okay, five feet on each side. Hold on. So that means, on. can I get 
it's Wait, it's a I, cube, right? And I think it's five. A it's a it's a cube with five feet on each side. So it's like a nine foot. Is it like a nine foot cube? Uh, I guess that's a rough question. I have a quick question though. Can I? St I still have movement, right? Yeah. Uh, you you do have some. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I can move here and then do the yeah. nine foot cube to get these big guys here and the little minotaurs. Is that? I think yeah. five foot cube just means it's one spot. Right? Oh. Even squares is a five foot cube. But it yeah. says in a cube five feet on each side. Oh, oh okay. it says range yeah. area 60 feet slash five feet. Yeah, so the 60 feet is how far away you can put, you can set the cube. Mm -hmm. And the cube is just one square, so you'll, it'll target oh. one guy. And it, it'll be one there. spot wherever the guy is. Okay. Don't run into it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's a it's a shredding machine. Okay, well since I moved and this guy's new here, um, the person this tall one that I'm facing. Okay. That's gonna be my target. Okay. Okay. Uh, I believe so... you just rolled damage on that because I don't yeah. think that they can save or do anything. Nope. Okay, so it's a four D four damage that's what it says uh okay oops okay so one plus four one plus four is nine nine damage and that's to the one that's right in front of you right yep nine damage okay yep. all right Okay, Trudovir, you're next. You have a um, you have a a, a yattering that's uh, hovering above you, and you see <laughs> a lot of crazy carnage going on in the boat. No kidding. Okay, uh, can I can I uh, uh, do a cantrip? I would like to do uh, blade ward. Okay. Okay. Uh, so I let me. To blade ward. How do I cast that? Oh, I don't have to cast. I can just say I do it. Uh, well, you, if it's a cantrip, yeah, it doesn't take yeah. any spell slots. Okay, so I, I I extend my hand and trace sigil in the air, and uh, I I I get resistance against bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing damage while I'm in the water. And uh, can I also try an action like? Um, can I also uh, do a spell against the ogre skeleton in front of me? Um, was that an, was that cantrip, uh, and it's, that was an action, so you can okay. do anything that takes a bonus action. Okay. Can I try to grab the ogre skeleton's foot and pull him into the water? Uh, that would be more like an action. Okay. Let's see. Um, okay. I'm not sure what reaction I could do. Well, so if you go, if you go into, um actions mm -hmm. have and then the bonus action section it'll show you what you have available i see bonus actions okay uh let's see two weapon fighting actions in combat two weapon fighting so i can do a two weapon attack if i had a two well that's just saying if you happen to uh if you happen to be a character that had a weapon in each hand you could attack with the second hand okay but, gotcha yeah, that's... so i guess that's it i guess i just uh okay. did that cantrip if that's you all I can do right now. Do any spell, bonus action spells? Let me see, bonus action spells. In my actions, bonus actions, all I have actions yeah. in combat is two with weapon fighting. And okay. I have blade song. Hang on, I have blade song. Yeah. Uh, two times per long rest, you can use a bonus action to start a blade song, which lasts for one minute. So I guess I haven't used it yet. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I guess I, I can cast a, a blade song. Okay, it's a good gotcha. idea. Yeah, Blade Song. I cast that one, and I get a plus three bonus to my AC, and I have an advantage on acrobatic spells. And plus, you're also now resistant to uh, physical damage, which is a big help. You yes. Take half damage from that stuff. Gotcha. Okay. This is why planning your attack is a good thing. <laughs> yeah. 
right, right, that's it. Minotaur Skeleton uh, is going to attack Ralph with disadvantage because of Ralph's cloak. Wow, so he missed. And uh, the other Minotaur Skeleton is going to attack Zoe. Uh, and that is a 21 to hit. And he's attacking with his axe. Yikes. Okay. So you take uh, 18 damage from the axe. Are you talking to me? Yeah. Okay, that takes me under zero then. Oh, okay, so Zoe's unconscious. Uh-huh. And, uh, and Rob, how far away is that third boat now? I can't really see it. Okay. All right. So I'm... that's then it's Ralph's turn. Okay. So this guy right in front of me is, appears to be dead. Am I right? Uh, no, he's not. He's uh, he's beat up pretty badly, but he's not dead. Okay. He just swung his axe at you and he missed. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and hit him with my moon sword. And, uh, okay, uh, roll to hit. That's a 1d6 plus 2. You gotta roll to hit first, though, before you do yeah. the damage. Yeah. Roll the 5. So, uh, 7. 7 damage? Yeah. Okay. Um,. That one, you managed to cleave its legs off, and it falls out down into the water. Okay. So he's in the water now? Yeah. All right. sent you a message okay uh, so you see um, you see a, a CD a, a pretty hideous hag looking creature climb up onto that lower uh, skeleton boat And she uh, stares at Cressa, who's trying to, who's uh, looks like she's trying to climb back into the boat. And she uses her death glare. So she's got to make a Constitution or Wisdom saving throw. Okay. Oh, she made it. Okay, so the death glare did not work. Okay, and the um and the squally flume uh, takes another dive at uh, Chertovir. So you have um, resistance, right? And your armor class is up. Yeah. Right now I have resistance against damage. Okay. Yeah. And yeah, I have and my... your armor class is higher. It's higher by three points. Yeah. So he uh, he he dives at you and makes a and makes an attack with his uh, stinging tail. So he got a sixteen. Is that hit? So my armor class is 16 at the moment. It's 13 plus 3. 
Oh, okay, so that just barely hits. So you cool. take... Uh, what would be four piercing damage, but now that's reduced to two because it's halved because you're um, resistant. And make a constitution saving throw. Okay, I also have, thanks to the Blade Song. Hang on, can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. I also have a plus three con con constitution saving throw bonus. So oh. let me, on top of what I have, so let me go ahead and do okay. that. I've got a... Six plus two, eight plus three, that's 11. Okay, 11 is what you needed to get. Ah, oh, yes, thank you. Wow, so... Um, Getting stoked. Yeah, now you take half poison damage. Oh. Wow, I got a 14, so you take seven poison damage. Is that the total hit points that I get? Yeah. Well, I'm seven to... poison damage plus the piercing that you had before. Plus four, right? Oh my god, that's yeah. 11 points damage? Yeah. I am down to minus three. <laughs> oh, well, it's just zero. There's no minus, but yeah. Uh, so, okay. okay. So, Chernovir is unconscious again. All right. You really doing... made him mad, calling him fart. I... Yeah. <laughs> I'll keep doing it. I don't care. We need to figure <laughs> okay. out a way to get rid of this guy. Uh, Zoe's turn, so Zoe's unconscious. Uh, make a death save. Okay, um, which one do I roll for this one again? Uh, roll a 20 sided die. And you don't add anything to it. Three. Okay, so that's one, uh, one fail on the death saves for Zoe. Okay. And Jonathan is next. Mm hmm. Um, do we just need to run away? I can't. I'm just floating. I, Me and someone I'm else, right? I an extraction strategy, but I'm trying to decide if we need to do it or... I mean, we're going down a lot. All right, yeah, I am but... going to... Um, use three sorcery points. Okay. Get, cast magical darkness about right here. But because I use sorcery points, I can still see through it. But so nobody else. So you're putting darkness on, on, uh... Over the entire battlefield. I'm going to try to see if I can get us out of here. Okay. The skeletons don't have eyes. But it's magical darkness. Yeah. It does Okay. Um, and I'll try to move here and start pulling Cho to beer over next round. Okay. I am done. All right, so there's darkness in there. Uh, next up is the ogre skeletons. This guy, he takes 44 damage. I can roll that if you. So, four. So he takes 12 damage, and so that one that was in the Cloud of Daggers, he just disintegrates. At the start of his turn. And then the other one. So, how, how big is this darkness? 15 foot radi uh, magical darkness spreads from a point you choose within range to fill a 15 foot radius sphere for the duration. The darkness spreads around corners. A creature with dark vision can't see through this darkness, and non magical light can't. Okay. I'll do it in the middle. Okay. Rob, can you draw like a, a circle around that? Yeah. Good question, Ryan. While. Yeah. Fart is attacking me. Can everybody see him, or or could they before? Yeah, the he's, he's visible as long as he's attacking and doing stuff. Gotcha. That's useful to know. I mean, now he's not visible, but nobody well, is. Right. Well. Yeah. yeah. Actually, you just gave him an advantage because I think he's the only one that can see through that. 
magical darkness? Yeah. Ugh. He ha he has devil's sight. Yeah. Well, I don't know that. Yeah, yeah. If you like the character artwork for Jericho Squad, check out the art of Azia Yordanova. Shayla Sackinger of Bird Ninja Art. If you like the intro theme, check out music by composer Ben Warren, who's a good friend of the Clive Barker podcast. In-game music provided by Tabletop Audio. Joe and Catalina come from Little Spark Films, who recently helped with Joe Bob Briggs's The Last Drive-In on Shudder. Check out Catalina Carita's Barker and Briefs, where she reads Clive Barker books. She's currently reading Clive Barker's A to Z of Horror, which BarkerCast is also revisiting with our audio commentaries. These make great companion pieces together. And finally, if you want to support us at the BarkerCast, a great way to do that and show us off is the BarkerCast Tee Public Store. We've got a Jericho Squad crew shirt. We've got uh, Cenobium. We've got uh, Marcus's pinhead design. There's all kinds of great designs, and they're, and they're not just t-shirts either. So please go check it out. Uh, get something and support us. Thanks. I was recently asked to help moderate the new Facebook group, Clive Barker Book Club. If you like discussion of Clive's books, you should check it out. Well, we have a whole other boat full of, of skeletons also. Well, that's why I think we need to try to get out of here. I will say that out loud. Okay, this ogre skeleton is in the dark, so he would have... He's going to take a swing at... Um, Actually, probably at Musette, with disadvantage because we can't see. And uh, that's a 10, you got a 16 to hit. So, does 16 hit? Musette? We can't hear you. How much damage? Uh, does 16 hit? Oh, uh, no, it doesn't. Sorry. My okay. armor is uh, 17 right now. All right. So he takes a swing at you, and he, you barely feel it uh, kind of breeze over your head, but you, the, the club doesn't hit you. Hey, Ryan, is that the one in the in the Cloud of Daggers? No, no, it's the one to the, to the south of her. So I'm going to turn oh, okay. him around. That one is dead. The Cloud of Daggers one is dead. He disintegrated. We could take him off of there. Yeah. But the cloud of daggers remains, and hopefully nobody wanders into it in the dark. Okay. And uh, can you move the uh, boat another, the other boat another ten feet forward? Okay. And now, the archer skeletons are going to fire blindly into the darkness. So, let's see. So that's Our disadvantage for them, right? Well, they're they're uh, they're going to aim they're going to aim ra randomly at at something in the darkness, and and then they'll it'll be a normal hit roll. So they might miss anyway. You got nine, nine people in there? And I'll make the Cloud of Daggers as the 10th one. Okay. 11, 12, if you encounter the one, ones on the boat next to the hag. Oh, you're right. Of course they, well, but yeah, but some of them are the archers themselves. Okay, so yeah, shoot the guy this guy, him. we'll start with that guy. Okay, so 12. 
Then I'll roll a d12. Okay, the this guy shoots the imp. <laughs> <laughs> and that is uh, get him, sick him. Fourteen to hit. That hits. Okay, he, wow, he actually killed him. Ah! <laughs> ah! I knew I'd get you, motherfucker. Looks like he's <laughs> back on the money, ah! boys. Yeah. <laughs> I have to find him again. Well, I should say, blub, 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 blub. Yeah. Yeah, so, um, you hear a, and, and a splash behind you, but you can't see it. Heck yeah. Okay. So two skeletons there. So I'll roll two D twelve for who they're aiming at. So what is that uh wow, effect? They both, they, they, two more arrows go into the dead body of Nisqually Flume. <laughs> <laughs> and stay down. So what is this uh blue effect in the center of the raft? Is that the magic I darkness? I think yeah, I think he put an effect on the darkness there. Cool, cool, Rob. And and then that's that boat, and then two more. They're not going to aim at themselves, right? So they're um, one of them has got. I watch him roll a one. Like I told you, they were going to hit themselves. <laughs> Targets. No damage. Let's cross. Five. He aims at that uh, uh, that skeleton, the the minotaur skeleton. He that hits. Wow. Man, I keep throwing the dice on the floor. Okay, now that's another one. There, you got three of them. This is another one of those throw the swords at the bird moments. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> your your darkness help, actually helped a lot more than I thought it would. Okay, so that one takes four that's damage. Cool. And uh, that uh, that hits him right in the uh, in the at, in his, the base of his his spine and, and shoots his head off. <laughs> so the minotaur the minotaur skeleton is down. Awesome. You just yeah. I, okay, okay. This is working far better than I possibly could have imagined. But I can't believe I'm only rolling enemies for to get hit. I, I got a plan okay. after this too. I think we might be fine. I love it. I love it. Where are we? Okay, that's all the all of them. And now it's Tressa's turn. Man, she's in the dark. In the water. <laughs> yeah, and that that hag who tried to stare at her at the boat. I think she's gonna swim out of the darkness. Oh, I see it. Yeah, and she's gonna try to climb on this boat. Oh, you ruined everything. I mean not. Hey, you didn't tell her your plan. I know. I didn't tell anybody my plan. Yeah. Uh, she's not able to climb onto the boat, though. Well, I did yell out that we had to get out of here, so. I did. But she's also a paladin. And they don't listen to birds. And, <laughs> and she's mad. Um, so she can't get up on the boat. Uh, see what she can do. She's mad. She's just gonna, um, she's gonna attack the boat with her glaive. She's, she's, gonna, she's gonna, gonna chop at the raft? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. She's gonna try to make a hole in it or something? Oh, that's a natural one. Now I gotta roll on the critical fail chart. Well, that was a bad idea in the first place, and now it's even worse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Trust and not the best strategist. This is why you control your temper, kids. Uh, okay, so she pulled a muscle in her arm. 
<laughs> She's too old for this shit. Yeah. Okay, so the next uh all right, so yep, she she hurt her arm. Okay, uh, who's next? People, this is why you stretch before you go after a boat with your blade. <laughs> yeah, everybody knows that. Um, and now it's Musette's turn. You are standing in the darkness. You hear the whirling uh, of your cloud of daggers in front of you. Okay. But I do remember be, there was someone. Oh no! Okay. Oh, Rob, can you can you take out that Minotaur skeleton? He's dead. The one that's on the on the player raft. Yeah, that one. Okay, but the big guy's still uh, still around, right? Yeah. Okay. Um. So I can remember him being there, though, right? He hasn't moved. Right. He's yeah. You. He, he's the one you grabbed onto his leg to climb it onto yes. the raft. And mm -hmm. he took a swing at you. Okay, so I'm gonna just face him. And... Uh, oh, and, and Rob, can you take out uh, Nisqually? I know that it's not ideal, but it wouldn't... But uh, I guess the staff would probably be better since I'm just trying to... Okay. Hit yeah. blindly. Yeah, uh, roll the hit with disadvantage. So you roll twice and take the lower okay. number. Uh, 15 and 17. So 15. Oh, wow. 15 plus. Plus two, 17. Seven, that definitely hits. Roll damage. Okay, mine has two. It's got, it says 1d6 for bludgeoning or 1d8 bludgeoning. Yeah, so the d8 is if you're using it two handed. Oh, am I using it two-handed? If you want to, yeah. If yes, I'm using it two-handed. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, so roll d8 for damage. Dang it, three. Okay, and you double that because uh, smashing it with a, a with a blunt weapon hurts them a lot more. Uh, okay, so, so six. Six damage. Okay. And that one. Let's see. Okay. All right. Yep, you smushed him, but he's he's still up. Thanks. As far as you can tell. <laughs> I'm talking to Rob here. Okay. You all kind of heard uh, Tressa kind of yelp, and she sounds like she's struggling in the water. Um, and that was Musette's turn, and now it's Churduvir's turn, and you're unconscious again, right? Yeah, so I guess it's a death-throwing save for me, right? Yeah. Yep, so roll 20-sided die. Or okay. I don't know if you can roll in the D and D Beyond. Maybe you can for death saves. Let I've me see. I don't think, I don't think it allows me to do that. But I'm gonna yeah, roll, so you just roll D twenty. Roll a twenty sided die, and you, if you get a ten or a higher, it's a pass. Jesus Christ! I got a four. Okay. Yeah. So that's a fail. Uh, okay. Okay. That guy's dead. That guy's dead. And um. <clears throat> this guy is going to jump, run and jump. He's going to make an athletics check and jump across to that other boat. So plus four. Oh, he got a natural one. Uh, <laughs> he slipped and fell into the water. Oh, the Minotaur skeleton. Where is he? There, I can't find him. I think that's him. Yeah, he slipped and fell into the water, and he's all bones, so he can't swim. He just sunk to the bottom. Ah. Right in the drink. He got a natural one on his athletics check to jump Ooh. over to the other boat. Well, okay. he ain't got no muscles. 
Yeah. You you guys are winning because of their incompetence. Ain't that always the way? We may not have to retreat. <laughs> yeah, uh, Ralph's turn. Pretty good. Hey. Okay. It was forced errors. Well, I'm blind, so. Shit. Yeah. Well, so you yeah, you you can uh, you can make attacks at disadvantage. So you just roll twice okay. and take the lower number, based on your hearing and stuff. Well, this homeboy that's closest to me, okay. I'm gonna blast him with Eldritch Blast. Okay, and you um, you remember that cloud of daggers being there, and you can hear the hum of the daggers kind of yes. swirling around. I could hear oh, that. Oh yeah, you're... okay. Uh, so you're gonna Eldritch Blast that guy? Yes. Okay, roll to hit with disadvantage. So first roll is a sixteen. Okay, Great. that's pretty good. <laughs> Second roll is a 17. All right, so 16 plus your... Sorry, your, uh, I can never remember what it is. My elders, uh, plus five, so it's plus five. Oh, so wow. be, yeah, uh, you, you definitely hit him. Fun. Yeah. Um, all right. So roll your damage. Oh, same dice, correct? No. No, so it's... Uh, yeah. Ten. Ten. My damage is five. I rolled a okay. five. All right, that got him. All right, that got him. Okay. Uh, the sea hag. I can't control her, Rob. Can I move her? Can can I? Uh... He's on the bottom boat, kind of at the front there. Yeah, right there. Oh, awesome! Thank you. She goes over to the side of the boat. She's going to claw at uh, Tressa, who is trying to, to uh, climb onto the boat. Thirteen. I think she missed. Yeah, she missed. Okay. Zoe's turn. Uh, Zoe's unconscious, right? Yep. So make a right. uh, roll 20-sided die. That's better. 13. All right, that's a pass. Okay, Jonathan's turn. All right. I'm going to kind of discreetly move over there and whisper to Musette that she should take one step. One step up next turn and try to stay out of sight and then I'll try to whisper to um, Ralph to stay out of sight and then I'm going to use the wand to cast major image and I want to overlay the boat like our boat with an illusion of everybody jumping out of the boat and starting to swim away Oh, wow. And okay. it's like over top of these people, or over to, I would have there be like an image of cargo. It looks like barrels. We'll see how smart they are. Barrels over top where people are, or like boxes okay. and, and nets. <laughs> tries to can like you put, can, can you right? put a, a, an illusion inside of the magical darkness? Uh, no, they're both concentrations, so the darkness will go away. Oh, I see. So you're going to turn the people into barrels, and you're going to have the uh, make, make it, it look, look like, like everybody jumped into the water. Yeah, like everybody's jumping in the water. Okay, R Rob, are you able to make doubles of <laughs> people? Okay. Uh, 
And I'll whisper to Musette, if you step up here, I can probably lead your hand to Chodavir to heal him, if you can heal him. Or at least grab him, if I can't pull him in. And that will be my... Well, I guess I got... I'll fly over there. Okay. So I'll put her here next to Chodavir. And Zoe is over here in the water. And... Oh, and Ralph would be... Up. Well, oh, wait, that's that's the actual Ralph. I, I can't do that. Here we go. I need some copies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is so confusing. I need to get Rob some practice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was thinking them kind of like popping off. Okay. Each side, like kind of closest. Yeah. You know. Okay. Is there a, an illusion of Chertovir, even though he's unconscious in the water? Yeah, but it's that he got up and started swimming away up this way. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. And then I'll cover him with like floating skeleton bones. Like the minute our skeleton floated back up. Okay, so and then Ralph <laughs> will be like here. Fake Ralph. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. And I wasn't going to make an illusion of myself. Well, no, sure. That's a good idea. No, I won't, because then they'll know it's an illusion. Yeah, I wasn't planning on it anyway. Make so I turn okay. into a I turn into a floating barrel, right? Or I yeah, a floating minotaur skeleton. Okay. Oh, okay. Or barrels fine if it's easier for. Yeah, I think that we'll just remember the barrels and stuff because I don't. Yeah. It'll be too hard for us to know what's going on if we swap out the actual people. Yeah. Yeah, we 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 know what's going on. Okay, we can imagine yeah. it in our minds. Power of imagination. Yeah. Okay, and then we just need one for Zoe, I think, right? Is there a is there an illusion for Tressa, or is she uh, on oh. her own? No, it's only who is in the darkness. Okay, makes sense. Okay, so uh, fake Zoe is swimming away over here, right? Yep. Okay. All right, I think I've got it. And now... Yes, I will accept that. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, but also not okay, sorry. So, so this ogre skeleton is looking around and he sees a bunch of barrels on the, on the raft. And he sees... He's closer to this end. So he is going, he doesn't want to run near the Cloud of Daggers. So he's going to either go after Zoe or Tressa. Probably, uh, probably Zoe because she's a little closer. Oh, what has he got? He's going to throw a javelin at, uh, at the Zoe Barrel. That uh, would have... That's a 16. I think that would have hit. So the javelin kind of goes through the the, fa the, the, uh, the fake Zoe and into the water. And I guess... His uh, intelligence... I'll make an intelligence check to see if he figures out that it's an illusion. What would be... Uh, what would be the DC on something like that? 
Oh, it's my spell DC. It's an investigation check. It's outlined, so that's okay. 14. 14? Mm-hmm. No, he got a 13. <laughs> yeah, 13, so he didn't... He doesn't doesn't get it. <laughs> okay. No so, and on the other boat, uh, Rob, can we move that other boat forward? Actually, in uh, by 10 feet. There we go. And this guy is going to... Huh. The darkness is gone. Huh. He's going to go this way and attack uh, fake fake Musette. And that's... 16 to hit, I guess that would have missed. So he missed. <clears throat> and... Now the archer skeletons. He's gonna... Eh, he's just gonna go after fake uh, Churdo here. That missed. And then two more skeletons. These ones. This one comes up here. And they are going to attack. Also, they can use that. One of them got a natural one, so he's going to have the critical fail chart. <laughs> okay. You launch a comically bad projectile attack nowhere near your intended opponent. It flies into a huge empty space. Taking yourself confidence with it. Oh, so he has to make a wisdom saving throw. Or he has disadvantage on attack rolls next time. Skeleton with low self esteem. I love it. <laughs> Twelve. Yeah, he he Aww. failed, so he's got he's got disadvantage on his next attack roll. That's that skeleton that's in the back of the middle boat. <clears throat> okay, and then these other two. Ah. They're, uh, and they're going to shoot at Tressa in the water. Um, actually, they both miss. And that's it for them. <laughs> All right, Tressa is going to make a... She's, she's, got, she's got plate armor. And she's got one of her her arm is cramped, the one that swung the weapon. So she's really struggling. I think. Um, yeah, she's gonna make an athletics check to try to stay up in the water. Okay, and she failed. So Tressa goes under. And. Next up is Musette. <laughs> Hi. So, um, I have an important question about mm -hmm. where to go. Uh, healing word. Oh yeah. It says oh. the spell has no effects on undead or constructs. Um, can I still, um, cast? this spell for Chodavir? Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Undead would be like skeletons and zombies and stuff. Oh, uh, okay. That yeah. was what I needed to know. And I don't yeah. have to touch him, it says. Yeah, um, And right. I also want to, I want to cast it from the second, from the second level. Okay. 
Um, so it says, um, when you cast a spell using a spell slot of second or higher, the healing increases by 1d4 for each spell slot. Oh, okay. So, so you're doing two, 2d4? Mm -hmm, 2d4 plus okay. 3 hit points. Yeah, go ahead and roll that. Um, and that's for short of ear. Yeah. Okay, 2d4 plus 3 is... Ah! Two plus two is four plus three is seven. All right, so Chirdovir has seven hit points and you're back conscious again. Thank you. Seven hit points. And you see uh, you see a floating uh, leather winged um, Nisqually flume lying in the water uh, motionless next to you. And it looks and like you, you're, you're, yeah, and th this is sort of an important note, uh, you believe that Muzad is right next to you and uh, you see yourself huh? uh, behind you and uh -huh. you see Ralph in the water next to you because you weren't a, you weren't conscious for when this plan happened. Yeah. Okay. And you kind of see that it's, I guess it would be like transparent flotsam around you like you're looking out through it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'll see, uh, but it's see. weird. I, uh, I look around and I see uh, what you just described, and let's see, what do I do? It's it's an well, it's, it's, check. To yeah, and, and you're just conscious. It's not your turn. Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, oh, actually, oh. actually, now it is your turn. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, uh, d do the illusions that I see of like um, the other people and myself? in the water, do they seem like they're in trouble or just floating and treading water? They're they're swimming away. They seem like they, they look healthy and stuff. Okay, okay. I think. I look oh, around oh, and I uh, see... Muzet, I think... Sorry, I, I, I don't know if Muzet is finished. I forgot. You, I think Healing Word is a bonus action spell, right? Um... Yes. It is? Yeah, so you still had a full action on top of that if you wanted to do something. Oh! Just do it again on Zoe. Yeah. Oh, no, can you? I don't even know where Zoe is, no, though. No, you can't. I don't, well, I don't. I don't know. I don't think you can. I don't I, think I, he's... I would. I would allow two bonus actions instead of a, you know, a bonus action and an action. Yeah. But I, I don't. Casting two spells a turn. Okay, but if I go ahead and I cast one more spell, I have zero spell slots. So. Uh oh. None of y'all better die. Okay? Well, like, they're already can, dead. Can, yeah. If you cast two turns and two spells in one turn, one of them has to be a cantrip. Oh, but is that yeah. just the okay. metamorphic feet, or is that all spells? That's what I was It's a, if one's a bonus action, the second one has to be a cantrip to be casted. Oh, okay. okay. Well, then I can't yeah, cast it anyway, because so, okay. it's not a cantrip. Copy so, that. Well, then what I will do is, since we can see again, um, what I'll do is I will go ahead and uh, two-handed staff attack this guy here. Okay. Uh, that I'm facing. Roll the hit. Uh, roll the hit. Uh, 16. Okay. And then I'm two-handed, so it's 1d8. Ah, I got a two. Okay. So that's doubled, uh, or you, the damage will be doubled. So 1d8 okay, so plus four. something, right? Uh, no, it just says 1d8. Okay. So yeah, you got, so you do four damage to him. Okay. And my turn is over. Okay. Sorry, now it's your Dovir's turn. All right, so I, I just woke up. I uh, look around. I see Fart <laughs> floating next to me. <laughs> I see yeah. everybody's swimming away. So before I, I try to get on the barge to, like, uh, you know, check myself, I want to grab Fart's dead body and break off one of his horns as a trophy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can I do that? Yeah, yeah. Um, I'll let you do that as a free action. Okay. I <laughs> snap it off and I go like, I would go like, curse you, fart. Okay. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay. And I so and I try. I want to swim on top of the barge and catch okay. my breath. Make an athletics check to climb up. Yes, sir. And I do have. Let's see. Blade song gives me plus three AC. Is that athletics athletics check? No. But it gives oh. you advantage in acrobatics. Acrobatics, yeah. I don't know if that would, if you could. Yeah, if you want to use acrobatics, you can. Uh, you'd be kind of flipping up instead of just hauling your body out. I try to flip out of the water like a dolphin. Yeah, or, okay. you know, like kind of somersault your way in or something. Okay, so that would be acrobatics check? Yeah. With a plus three bonus on top of the plus three modifier, so I get... And plus you do it twice and take the highest number. Right, so 11 plus three, that's 14. Let's okay. try that again. And 13 plus three is 16, so I got a 16. Yeah, e either one of those would have made it. So you're uh, you're onto the deck. That, All right. that used up half your movement climbing up there, so you still have half your movement left. Okay. Minus five feet, because you took five feet to get up to the boat, I think. No, all right. no, no. Just, you just have after moving on. So, all right, let me see if I have any bonus actions. Well, just as a note, uh -huh. you could go down, oh. so your blade song ended, so you'd have to use a bonus action to start it again. Gotcha, okay. I don't so, think it's a bad idea at all, but. Okay, got it. Yeah. So I don't really have any bonus right. actions. So, uh, yeah, so I jump on the raft and I, let's see. Is there, uh, can I? Can I use a cantrip? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to try to use. Um, you have you have bonus actions and actions left because you just used your movement to climb up. Okay. So I will yeah. I will cast ray of frost at the okay. um, at the ogre skeleton in front of me. You you might have to because you got the you're kind of shooting through the cloud of daggers. So you might uh, have to move okay. in between Ralph and Zoe there to do that. Like that. Yeah, yeah, that'll do it. And I cast Ray of Frost on the Ogre Skeleton. Okay, uh, roll the hit. You. All right, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, Ray of Frost. And my 15 to hit. Oh, um, okay, that hits. Awesome. Let's see now for the 1d8 damage. And I got, oh, Jesus, rare frost damage is one. Okay. It happens. And he slowed by 10 feet, I think, right? Yes, that's right. Okay. Even though he's not moving. Right. But if he wanted to move, he would be moving 10 feet less. All right. So we have, oh, that... All the Minotaur skeletons are dead because the one jumped into the water. I mean, he's not technically dead, but he's not going to figure out how to get back up. <clears throat> okay, worse than that. Stuck at the yeah. bottom of the ocean. Yeah. All right. Um, so it's Ralph's turn. All right. Uh, question. How many spaces yeah. can I move? Um, it's on your movement. On my so the, the every beyond. every square is five feet. Okay, where does it say where I can do that? Probably six. So um, up at the top, above your armor class, it says walking. Thirty like, feet. Tressa has thirty feet. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Well, I want to go all the way over here on these assholes' okay. boat. Okay. I'm going to hang out right here with these guys. And okay. I want to cast uh, Arms of Hadar. Oh, awesome. Okay. Good choice. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I want to cast the Arms of Hadar. Get it, Ralph. All right. So... Um, and that's like everybody within a certain radius of you. I think, it's right? it's within ten feet of me. That's <laughs> yeah. why I came all the way over here. All right. So no, yeah. so no one's affected but these two guys. They have to make strength saving throws. Uh, the strength saving throw. 
Uh, stranded on a fail save, throw the target takes 2d6 necrotic damage and can't take reactions until its next turn. On a successful mm-hmm. save, the creature takes half damage but suffers no other effects. Okay, so what uh, is the save DC on that? What did, what did they uh, have to roll on the string? Uh, STR 13. Okay. Alright, so... What do I roll? Okay. So the skeleton, the little skeleton, got uh, 17, so he, he's only taking half damage. Oh, and the other one actually, so they both passed, but they're going to take uh, half damage. Okay. And then I and then I roll uh, 10-sided. No, oh, it says um, 3d6. So my six sided dice three times? Uh yes. Okay. Six. Eleven. Sixteen. Okay. Um sixteen damage. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so that's halved to eight. Let's see. So you did hellish rebuke was an ability, right? Uh, hellish is rebuke is um, hellish rebuke is uh. Or is that I have to find out what it is. Well, it's under spells. Oh, okay, so did you click cast when you did that? Did I cast? Oh, yeah. when I did it originally, no. Okay. As a warlock, I think you only have like two spell slots. Okay. Yeah, and and the Eldritch Blast doesn't use any because it's a cantrip. It's a cantrip. But but this Arms of Hadar and the Hellish Rebuke, and I think. Yeah. Is that all the spell? Those are the only spells you've cast. So I think you just used up all of your spell yep. slots. Yep, that's all I got. Okay. All right. So they took some damage. The 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 uh, the archer skeleton is hurt pretty badly. Right, and I can't do oh, a bonus action. Is that action. bludgeoning damage? On my what I just did? Oh no, it's necrotic damage. Okay. Necrotic damage. Yeah. All right. Cool. And then, uh, all right. You're actually kind of the tank too now because you're uh, because they have disadvantage hitting you. Yeah. <laughs> We're coming into our own. All right. Um, sea Hag's turn. I'm curious to know more about what uh, Baphomet's hand does. Well, all of it, all of his warlock powers come from Baphomet's hand. Oh, gotcha. So okay, so the Sea Hag saw Tressa just sink into the water. And she sees fake Zoe swimming in the water over there, so she's going to do her death glare at fake Zoe. And she does it, and it seems to have no effect. (laughs) And then uh, it's Zoe's turn again. So make a death save. 13 again. Okay, that's another pass. And then Jonathan. All right. I don't know how hard it would be to give me control of the illusion. I'm going to take my action. To you should be her. able to already. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to kind of fly over there. I'm going to have Zoe look like she swims back and climbs up. Have him look like he, Ralph, loser Ralph, swim and climb up. And swim and climb up and swim and climb up. I guess. Okay, so the other thing is when Ralph moved up onto that boat, he's mm-hmm. not a barrel anymore, right? That would break the... Well, no, no, the barrels don't move with the person. Yeah, so Ralph kind of looked like he climbed through the barrel and yeah. ran up there. Okay. At this point, I'm just trying to cause confusion. Yeah, that's, a, that's <laughs> that works. Okay. And, and so are you... Is, is controlling your illusion uh, an action? Yeah. Okay. And so then I'm just going to fly back over there, and I am good. Okay. 
All right, Ogre Skeleton. This one is going to attack Ralph. With disadvantage because of his cloak. Because Ralph still hasn't taken any hits yet, right? I think it nope. stops working until he, uh, it stops working once you get hurt. Correct. Oh my gosh. That's a miss. Yeah. And then the other one is going to drop his bow and pull out his sword. And he's going to attack you. He's going to attack me? He also misses. Sweet. Yeah. That uh, that robe has helped out a lot. <laughs> Who is this one? Okay, and then we got two skeletons here. Oh, but one of them has disadvantage on attacks because he he uh, hurt himself. Let's see. <laughs> Well, yeah, so they can see. This one's going to shoot at Musette. It's a, an 11 to hit, and that misses. And this one is going to attack Ralph. He already has disadvantage. So he's going to get... This 11 doesn't hit, right? So an arrow flies past you. Correct. Does not hit. Okay. And then we got two more skeletons. So this one, oh, I can't, I can't control the. Rob, can you? Can I get control of the ones on the lower boat? Oh, there we go. Okay, so this one is going to swing his sword at Musette. And that's an 18, so that actually hits. And he gets, he does five damage. Five damage that to use that? Yeah. Copy that. And that one is going to. The real Musette's still inside the barrel. Yeah, but she moved around, and so oh, he yeah, saw. Oh, yeah, she attacked. Uh, yeah. And step. this one is going to attack Ralph. This is so Which one's going to attack me? Uh, this this skeleton here. Oh, I, how do you make this? The, the one on the lower boat that's facing oh. you? Yeah. Okay. So he got um, 11. He got a 15. Or 12. 13. He got 13. Does that hit? No. Okay. So another arrow whizzes past you. Damn. And that's it for them. <clears throat> Tressa is going to struggle again uh, at disadvantage to swim out of there. Wow. Yeah, she, she failed epically. So oh, no. She sinks farther down. <clears throat> so oh, okay, and um, who's next? Musette's turn. Okay, so it doesn't look like there's really anything I can do to help Tressa right now, right? Well, he, she I... sunk under the water. Okay, yeah. You can't so see her not... anymore. That's not happening. Okay. Um, oh my gosh, I'm running out of spells too. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and cast a wind wall okay. along um, along the tall skeleton whose uh, legs got attacked, okay. but also the bottom two boats. Okay. And, and wind walls can curve around, I think, right? Yep. Yep. So um, if Ralph wasn't in the way, I think I'd actually be able to do the whole, all three boats, but I don't want to attack Ralph. Okay. And how, how long can the wind wall be? It I mean, 60, can. 60 feet? E 120 feet. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's, oh, oh, it's, wait, a, here we but go. it's only like a foot wide long. or something. 
Yeah, here we go. 50 feet long, 15 feet high, one foot thick. So 50 feet long. Yeah, so you can weave it around Ralph. I don't think you'd even have to hit him. Oh, really? You think so? Yeah, I mean, but it's only 50 feet, so let's see yeah. how you can... Because I want to I wanna get the tall guy in here, too. So she wants to hit every single skeleton as much as she can. Can you, are you able to make like a curvy line on there that, that weaves through all of those? <clears throat> yeah, she should. That's... Okay, yeah. Well, I just like was that. asking Rob if it's possible on roll 20. Right. Too bad we didn't have a sail. Mm. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> And Chertuvir is going to be next after this. Okay. Sorry. Were we able to get those? Oh, um... there oh. we go. Yeah. Jeez. Nice. Okay. okay. What is the, what's the saving throw for that? Cool. Thank you, Rob. Okay. If the wall appears, each creature within its area must make a strength saving throw. Mm -hmm. A creature takes 3d8 bludgeoning damage on a failed save or half as much on a successful one. Okay. What's the DC on that? the save DC. It's from your liar, so it'll say it casts spells at a whatever level and with a, what, something DC like 17 or something like that. Um, attack save STR 13. Okay, 13. So this is the um, 1, 2, 3, 4 <laughs> 4 um, archer skeletons. Only one of them passed. So if they pass, they still they take half damage. They take half works? damage. Okay. So can you uh, roll the damage? Okay, and it's a three d eight. So. Yeah. And then uh, we got two ogre skeletons. Six plus Look four is ten. Twelve total. Twelve damage. Okay. It's bludgeoning damage. Wow. So. Oh, it is bludgeoning damage. Yeah. It's bludgeoning, yeah. He killed every single one of the archer skeletons. Yeah. Blew them apart. Why didn't you do that sooner? I <laughs> don't know. <laughs> <laughs> she's well, she's boats, injured. The, the, the boats <laughs> were uh, uh, were moving slowly in, inwards, too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It was dark. It okay, was. So, it was dark for a while then, there. I'm going to roll for the uh, two ogre skeletons. You're always saving hard luck, Muzad. Oh, even the one that took half damage, I yeah. think, is dead. Yeah, so all those little skeletons are gone. <clears throat> so one of the ogre skeletons passed, and the other one uh, failed. So he okay. takes 12. Okay, we're going to stop 12. And the other one takes 6. Thank goodness. Actually, that one died, the one that failed. They're not susceptible to bludgeoning? Oh, they are, yeah. Oh, you're right. So... Do it. Do it. Oh, you know what? They're both dead, then. Yes! <laughs> so all, right. all the skeletons... All the skeletons are dead. <laughs> I'm wow. so sorry. I should have done that, like... First oh, thing. You're, you're, no, well, all of the boats were weren't up to the up to your. Yeah, yeah, that. you can do perfect. it all at the time. Yeah, that's perfect. Musette wow. is the MVP. Okay. <laughs> this certainly looks different. Awesome. Now heal me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Same here. Well, I, I think got I have seven one slot left. I just I can do it on the next uh, go around. Okay, yeah. okay. Uh, Chirdo turn. Okay, I so all the skeletons are dead. Yeah, there there is a sea hag. She's really hard to see, but she's really on the hard. boat uh, in front of Tressa. Uh, okay. She kind of blends I, in with the boat. Okay, let me move over here. Uh, past the fake uh, Ralph and uh, Zoe. I pull out my automatic rifle. Oh. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> <laughs> Yeah. And I, you know, just let her rip. Okay, roll the hit. 
Let's see. How Are you much in the I... wind wall? Am I in the wind wall? Oh, yeah, you're standing in the wind wall. Ah, oh, Jesus. Oh, okay. Well, can I stand? Can I stand here where I was and shoot through the illusions of Ralph and Zoe? You can stand inside of them, too. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, Zoe, I'm going to step into your okay. shoes here. I won't feel a thing. Yeah. Okay. That's all I stand. All right, yep, roll the hit. Okay, let's do this. Let's let's finish this. So, um, okay, hang on. I'm I'm wielding my rifle, and let's see. Uh, roll to hit. So that's uh. Oh, looks like I can't do it automatically with the uh, D and D Beyond. But there we go. Twenty okay. sided die. Fourteen. And then you should add a new two, I think, for your. So it says attack that range. Uh, or, or no, damage. you add your, uh, add your dexterity bonus onto that. Dexterity bonus. My dexterity bonus is plus three. So that was a 14 plus three. Yeah, That's that 17. Let me see where she is. Yeah, that definitely hits. Okay, and uh, rifle automatic says damage 2d8 plus three. A six and a seven. So that's 13. Isn't there a... Oh, and plus, plus three. So, okay, so 16, 16 damage? Yes, sir. All right. All right. Yeah, you uh, you nailed her right through the clavicle. Woo! Okay. So is she dead? No. Okay. Ah. So 16 and damage Ralph's, points on the hag. Ralph's turn. And Ralph, you're on a boat that used to be full of skeletons, and now you've got a wind wall on two sides of you and no skeletons. You're muted, Ralph. Mm -hmm. I see this. Thank you. Okay. Okay. So what? What? What the hell did I just do? Can I actually grab this boat and move it? Uh, yeah, you could move it <clears throat> if you grab the the uh, paddle thing. Uh, okay, so I guess the best course of action would be for me to jump from boat to boat. Okay. Get to this witch or whatever she yeah. is. Make a, an athletics or an acrobatics check, whichever is higher. Which one do I use? The 20-sided? Yeah. Okay, you said acrobatics or athletics? Yeah, whichever Yeah, which higher. one has the largest modifier? Okay. Acrobatics is two and athletics. Okay, so acrobatics. Okay. And, I, and I rolled a 15, so 17. 17. Wow, yeah, you were able to uh, to jump across the first one there. Okay, there's and that one. Only used, yeah. And I'd stay out of the wind wall because you'll get hurt. Yeah. And then you can um, make another yeah. one to jump over to the other. Do I got to roll again? Yeah. I'll just blast her from there. Yeah, you could just shoot her from there. You don't have to move up right up to that. That's more. That's less than 50 feet, right? Yeah, that's less than 50 yeah. feet. Okay, so yeah, I'm just going to... I'm going to Elders Blast her then. Hold on, let me see if my Elders okay. Blast I think my Eldritch Blast reaches. Yes, it does. Okay. Eldritch Blast. Okay, roll the hit. I rolled a 16. Oh, yeah, that hits. Cool. With my hit plus five. Yeah, so roll the damage. Three times. Four, five, six. Isn't it uh, Eldritch Blast is like one d ten, right? Yeah. Oh, well then I, I rolled a four. <laughs> okay. All right. And next is Zoe's turn. Okay. Come on, I need to get out of this. Yeah. Twelve. 
All right, you are stabilized. You're still hey. lying unconscious, but you're not bleeding out anymore. You're just you're just lying there on the boat. Okay. okay. Jonathan Livingston Seagull. All right, to my best, to the best of my ability, um, I'm just going to cast Chromatic Orb as a second level spell against the sea tank. Okay. Roll 14 to hit. attack. What is it? 14? Yeah. Um, yeah, that barely hits. That's what you needed. And it's acid. Oh, I, ha I have you off the screen here. And I was going to do acid. There we go. Got it. Okay, acid? Yep. Okay. Total. 15 damage? Yep. Wow. Yeah, that hurt her a lot. She's in, uh, she's in pretty rough shape now. Fly over there. Okay. Low enough that I'm behind the wind wall. Okay. All those skeletons are dead. And now it's Tressa's turn. It's kind of like Total Recall with the, um, that little illusion hologram thing he had. Oh, he yeah. Had Mr. Chodov um, Two <laughs> weeks! Ah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and Tressa uh, continues sinking down to the bottom of the of the water. Oh, yeah, we were like, you guys are like, I forgot about her. Okay, it wasn't music. Allowed to do. I know. I can't pull her up. Uh, Musette's turn. Sorry. Okay. Um. Oh my God. He's so. I should probably actually go help go in here. Um, okay, my wind wall should be done. I concentrate. So um, Yeah, you I'm can ready. you can make it go down if you want to. Yeah, yeah, the wind wall I'm done with it. Okay. Sorry, I'm gonna go and take Zoe's spot. Because I believe I have to actually touch Zoe in order to do healing word. Uh your wounds you do, but healing word you don't. Oh, no, I, oh, no, I don't. Okay. okay. Sorry. No. That's just the one. Okay. So, I'm going to cast Healing Word, but from a second level. Okay. So, it's 2d4 plus 3. All um, right. Well, uh, yep. Where roll it. There we go. I lost my dice. One. Four, five. And is going to be eight, next eight. after. Eight. So Zoe gets okay. eight hit points. So you're back okay. up again. Okay. And is that it? Can I still take an action? Uh, that was a bonus action for that oh, spell. Okay. Well, then I'd like to shoot the hag. Okay. Uh, roll to hit. Is this with your uh, handgun, I think? Uh, pistol, pistol yeah. Pistol, uh, yeah. Range okay. is 50 feet. Okay. I got, I got 16. 16? Yeah. That hits. Oh, okay. oh, oh 16 plus 5, sorry. Okay, yeah, 2, that, D6. That hits even more. Plus 3 is okay. 6, 10, 13. 13 damage, wow. Uh, and she's dead. not dead, but she wishes she was dead right now. Yeah. <laughs> we can we can do that. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to find her. There are so many enemies. Okay. Okay, and then now it's uh, Chertovir's turn. Slice her up. Okay. So I still have my machine gun. Um, I'm still pointing it at the hag. So, wait a minute, I gotta move. Huh. I don't want to shoot Musette. Barbaric weapon from a less civilized age. 
Yeah, the 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 cloud of daggers is still to my uh, left, right? Yeah. I think you okay. can move through Musette, though, right? Can I? Can I move through right Musette and over here? Yeah, you can. Okay. Well, I step aside and I say, okay, hang on, let me take care of this. And I point my gun at the hag and I shoot. So let's roll to attack. Uh, let's see, where's my 20-sided die? The cat knocked it over a while ago. I think I got it. <laughs> okay, here it is. You want to play? Like, yeah, yeah, Lucifer wants to play. Okay, 20. Let's go ahead and roll to hit. All right, I got a 10. Um, 10 to hit. Uh, let's see. Um, do oh, I have okay. a modifier is, for that? Yeah, um, yeah, it's plus your dexterity ones. Okay, so that's 10 plus 3. That's 13. Uh, 13 misses. Okay, all right. Well, I tried. And Ralph is next. All right, well, there's really nothing much else to do. I'll just Eldritch Blast this chick again. Okay, roll to hit. 19. Yeah, that hits. Roll your damage. Five. Okay. Yeah. Um, you, you, uh, you burned a hole in her back, and she fell over into the water. Oof. So she's gone. Okay. So <laughs> combat is over. Uh, nobody's unconscious, but uh, Tressa is uh, going to start drowning pretty soon. Should have here. Go jump in there and save her. I guess I'll, I'll move and like start squawking and trying to dive as much as I can and like pull her with mage hand, but I can't really do much. Okay, okay. Uh, I can do that. I mean, I can cause her to levitate, but I can't move her. So if I can get her to levitate and Jonathan scooches her back onto the boat, will that work? That would be, yeah, that would be great. Okay, that is officially my last spell slot. Does, does levitate need to be a, a person that you, a target that you can see? I do not know. Let me find out. It says, yep, it says that you can see within range. Dang it. We'll just dive in. This is the best swimmer. Are you, Jose, are you watching the untouchables behind us? That's Star Trek. Oh. When Picard goes postal with a machine gun against the Borg. That's Star oh, Trek okay. First Contact. <laughs> oh. I'll change it back. Okay, so I'm jumping in to uh, be able to... Okay, to see her. Is that what's happening? Is that what's happening? Okay, I guess it's what's happening. Okay. We're going to just cause things to happen. So, okay, okay, make a, one... make a, make a perception check. Was still on my check. turn? Did you... Oh, nobody. We're not it's not my turn, right? Anymore. Just Ralph told me to grab Tessa. Never mind. Okay, yeah. sorry. Oh, bad. Perception yeah. check. I heard. Sorry. We're kind of out of combat, so anybody can do. You can, anybody you can, can do, do what whatever. Perception. But time's moving a lot faster, so she'll drown a lot faster now. Um, okay. So wait. Perception check to see if you can find her sinking down into the water. I don't even see where it is. Again, I'm so sorry. What do I roll for an athletics check? Uh, 20? Uh, you can actually walk across the bottom oh. boat and then onto your boat. Because okay. they're touching. Yeah, right. so you don't have to roll that. Well, to see, they're all our boats now. Oh, wait, here we go. Perception. Jeez, Louise, yeah. I am so sorry. Um, 11 total. So it probably doesn't make it. Uh, yeah, actually, you do. You see a glint off of her armor. Quick question. On my inventory... Um, if it doesn't have a little square next to it in my backpack, that means I don't have it, right? Uh, it means it's not equipped. It's not equipped, it's like okay. In, it's like in your bag, but it's not on you, like, ready to use. Oh, but can I use it right now? What is it? It's my rope. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you can. I have a, I have, 
I can I have like fifty feet worth of rope, so Okay. I can toss it over to Musette and she could, you know, probably tie it around uh Tressa and I could just pull her up. Is that, that what you want to do? I mean, I mean, that's worth a shot. That's what I want to do. Well, she's okay, M- but M- Musette, are you gonna? Is that? Are you gonna do that too? I It'll... can. What was Brant saying? Oh, if you were just gonna levitate her, you can just pull her out. Right. Is that too? I mean, is levitate a cantrip, or did, I, did do you still have spell slot? Have any spell no, slots? No, it it would be my last spell slot. Oh, okay. Do yeah, we? We don't know what's next around the corner. I don't think we can go around the corner. <laughs> well, you know what I mean. I, we don't know yeah. what's coming next, so. I think a rest. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to just go ahead and use the levitation spell. There we go. Okay. Cast levitate, and Jonathan's going to push her. Yeah, I'll mage hand her out. Yeah. yeah. So Slap her on the raft. Back. Yeah, you, you, you lift her up uh, and out of the water. She, she starts sputtering and... <laughs> And uh, and uh, looking around and just thank you when she finally gets to take, take a breath. I think you need a better bathing suit if you're gonna go swimming. I went I swimming suppose. with a thousand gold pieces in my backpack. She starts she starts rubbing her arm. Okay, guys, looks like we made it. Yeah. Wow. I think we should go back. Back we where? Back in the room we were resting in last night. I'm from Caps. Everyone else is from Caps. Yeah. We should. Uh, uh, I grab the. Uh, I grab the the pole barge pole, and I go like maybe we should go back to the other level and get a good rest. Oh, and if it's still floating, I want to like, or even if it's not, I'll dive because I'm gull, and I want to pick up his. Um, the Natterling's body. Okay. And then ask yeah, you can you can do that. It's still floating. Here. They'll carry the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. Preston says it's interesting to see him uh, finally when he's not invisible. It's not how I pictured him. Do you guys want to jump on one of those boats and grab it so we can have like? Two different boats in case we are crossing this again next time. I don't know. Or, or, or we can just use the barge. Uh, we can probably tow them all and tie them up here. Why, why is Fart going on the barge? He's dead. His body. Oh, yeah, I broke the horn. Thank you. I had my trophy. I'm going to well, break the tail off. For the I, only have, I only have enough <laughs> rope to tow one Rest. boat. But also, I don't know. Just thought. Why would I mean, we need these other boats? That way we could maneuver if we get. I don't think we're going to get any more skeleton boats. I mean, this boat already. These boats already look like they're in better condition than what our barge. But our barge is bigger, so I don't. That's know. true. That's true. Yeah, we could tie them all up to be nice to people. You think for the next person? Mm. I'm sure they have a ton of people coming through here. Uh, well, you know, <laughs> if you want to reopen the boat ride. Like, yeah. I know the, the I'm just thinking strategically be because if we come back uh, and there's some other stuff happening, we can just, uh, you know, ma- maneuver around it or whatever. But well, anyway, let's just, so let's, let's not be selfish and just take what we only need. <laughs> okay. So I'm starting to pull the barge away. I'm going back to uh, west to the other bank that we started from. Okay. Okay, um, as as you get on the dock, uh, you see. Um, so I guess we'll move that uh, barge back to the dock. Is that what's happening? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. There, there's a man standing on the dock, uh, oh. and he, he kind of looks like a wizard. And uh, Ralph, make an intelligence check. Uh, 20 side day. Yeah. Plus the intelligence bonus. So 18 altogether. 
Okay, uh, you you recognize this guy immediately um, from your time in the carnival. Uh, oh, he he went by the great Tarval. He was an illusionist there. Um, he says, "Ah, good. I, I I knew you guy. I knew that you would you would survive." I didn't think good you'd to survive. See you again. <laughs> Why are you here? I'm. I well, you had disappeared out of the world uh, for a while, and I thought you were gone, but now you're back in the world. I don't think I've ever I left came the to world. find you. I want to restart the carnival. I want nothing to do with you. He uh, I... he looks around at you and uh, and uh, he says, "Well, I'll tell you what." I see. Uh, I see that it looks to me like I was going to be your patron. I was going to teach you the magic of hell. Uh, but uh, it seems to me that you've got another patron already. And he looks over at Jonathan and he says, "You're an interesting fellow. Tell me about yourself." I like to think so. He says, "How would uh, you like all fries? the carnival food that you can eat?" Jonathan, that guy's nothing but a capitalist. I swear I ripped his throat out. Wait, wait, wait. Carnival food? All the carnival food you can eat. Yeah, it's I... not real food. <laughs> not like that stopped me before. <laughs> <laughs> this is truth. <laughs> Interesting. Tell me more. I'll hop down off the perch and under the dock. He says, well, if you come with me, I'd like to give you a tour of uh, of the carnival that we're starting up again. Really? Like, down here in hell? Like, how did you get here? No, 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 not in hell. It's in California. Uh, I don't differentiate the two these days. <laughs> right. But uh, how'd you find him? Seems to be quite the feat. Uh, how did how did he find? Oh, oh, Ralph. here. Yeah, how did you get find how me? Did you get here. He says, "I'm I'm a great magician." He has some and, sort and of Ralph, GPS on me. You remember? Uh, you you remember that he was going to take you to hell uh, to learn magic, and as he opened the portal, you bit his throat out and pushed him through. And the clo portal closed behind him. I apologize for that. It was a natural reaction called fear. Yeah, well, you, I, I, I noticed that you still have the skill that I taught you. Um, hellish rebuke. Yeah, I, I might have just remembered that one not too long ago. Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, I consider this uh, I consider this place to be a test. Um, I'm going to take this bird here with me uh, oh, and whoa. then I'll meet up with you near the end so that uh, we can all travel to hell together. You're not gonna take you're, this you're not, bird anywhere. You're and not I, taking I, yeah no I, I, I don't I don't think so. But I'll take off. Okay. yeah, uh, that bird's more than you can chew. <laughs> <laughs> so if you would get out of our way so we can go through okay or just walk by him like he's not there okay um, I'm keeping an eye on wait. him though Okay, make um, make a wisdom saving throw. All Which of us, one of us? Uh, jo Jonathan. Thirteen. Okay, uh, you um, are dominated. You're going with him. You're gonna go land on his shoulder. Oh, that's saying good. Jonathan, what are you doing? Uh, you know, French fries. We don't know this guy, and and I, I just can't say no. 
Hmm. So he he opens a um, he opens a portal, and and uh, disappears through it, and he's gone. Uh, with Jonathan. Uh, son of a biscuit. All right, that was not good, guys. I I, I this guy's in cahoots with it with hell. I mean, uh, Ralph, you you attacked him last time you saw him, right? You were talking about biting him and and throwing him through a portal. It was sort of this weird thing. I didn't. It, it it came out of nowhere, and I freaked, and I bit this guy's throat out, and I thought he died and fell into this in, into wherever it was he was going, and he clearly is still here, and he's going to feed Jonathan with all the wormy French fries ever. I don't like this. I think. I think he I is. I, th- I don't think he is who he says he is, and uh, now we lost Jonathan. So, well, he ha- he has when he's talking about a carnival. I would, you know, take you know, be very cautious there, because that's a lot of bodies he's in charge of. <laughs> so you think he went back to the carnival in California? I think, I I I don't know what he has. So but the, the carnival that, that yeah Ralph's carnival was in uh, was in Canada. So obviously they've moved. He's he's relocated. Okay. Tressa well, he just went down the coast. Tressa, do you possible? do you have any? Do we have a Jericho squad in in California somewhere? Uh, she says, "Let me think." And now I gotta look this up. I don't remember. Because we're in Africa right now. It would be quite a yeah. trip to find out where that carnival would be. We don't have any idea where it is, right, guys? I mean, Google it. It used to be in, it used to be in Canada, but now he just mentioned California, but we don't know what city. So I guess we're kind of screwed here. Oh, oh um, yes. There is a squad uh, in Palomo Grove. Okay. Auspicious location, I think. Lomo Grove. Okay. Do you have any pictures of any of the Jericho squad from Paloma Grove on you or at the camp? Uh, I can look back at the camp and see. Okay. So, guys, what do you think? Should we go back to the camp and see if we can contact the Jericho squad over there in California? See if we can get uh, any sort of information about whether or not a strange carnival has popped up anywhere? Well, no matter what, we need to figure out how to get Jonathan back because I don't think he'll want to come back willingly. That's true. (laughs) That's true. So So, let's... What do you guys say we go back to camp and see if we can contact anybody in California? At least we we can get a good night's rest and heal up and, you know... I mean, that's that's the best option. That's yeah. you're the only one with the plan, so fuck it. Okay. There we go. Sorry, I can't get on the thing. There we go. So some of the levels are a little hard to get up because there are some that you fell through a hole. Oh, that's right. Yeah. I mean, because we're still, we're halfway through. Ow. We're halfway through. Yeah. Um, okay, so how about... That's right. Yeah, that's right. We can't really go up the other level that we fell through because uh, we fell through that lake and there's a pile of bodies, but I don't think we can make it up even with a rope, maybe. So let's go into the other level, though, and uh, through the door and, and, and camp for the night, I guess. Because there is a portal at the end of this thing, right? Tessa, you mentioned there's a portal. Maybe we can go through that portal. Maybe we will find this guy and Jonathan. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm not opposed to that plan. Because he might have gone to hell or he might have gone to the carnival. But I, my feeling is that he's gone to hell. All right. So I, I guess we'll take watches. Um, We'll set up camp. All right. Um, I got a blanket. I got some food. No spaghetti. (laughs) 
There's not going to be any waffles either. <laughs> and and as long as the uh, this puzzle box is is in the doorway or is uh-huh. jammed into the door, you don't feel the same pull that you felt on it. Uh, that you felt from it before. Okay, so let me check my provisions. I think I only have provisions for one day, uh, but that should be good. Yeah. And uh, and if you want, the, the the night goes by without anything happening, so you can all take a long rest at this point. Okay. Hmm. Actually, I don't think I have any food in my inventory. I think I already ate it. I have some rations. Oh. Wait. Equipment. No. I have one day's worth of rations. Of it. It's like twenty pounds. It's all mine. <laughs> okay, so I go hungry, but that's okay. I'm a Urethamax, so I I'll don't really get that you. hungry. I'll share with everyone. Okay. So, by the way, do we get how many points do we get when we eat um, stuff? Uh, nothing for eating, but if you take a long rest, then you get you you hit the long rest button, you get all your spell slots back and your hit points back. And we're going to do that now, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Eating, you just figure eating is probably a part of that, but and I'm gonna recover 18 hit points up to two hit dice, four spell slots, blade song. Okay, I'm taking my long rest. Okay, and my abilities have been reset. I'm all good. Okay, and Tressa takes a long rest, and her arm feels better. Okay. So it's the next day. Yeah. All right. Um, so at this point, we can we can stop. Um. <laughs> all right. We're all a little mopey. We just lost our buddy. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna pick this up again uh, next month. And uh, I guess yeah. now we have we're, we're more focused because we don't have um, we're focused on a mission to rescue Brant, uh, Jonathan. So. You don't have all the chaos. So yeah. now we're, we're on a side quest. But we don't have air support either, so that's why we're a little <laughs> right. mopey. Yeah, and, uh, and illusion support. Cool, yeah. cool. And just general playing the game support. <laughs> <laughs> I was really excited about this die. battle because this- the, the last episode, I almost didn't get any hit points damage or anything. So in this one, I was like, I was, I was in the water. I was kind of anxious. I was like, yeah. holy crap, three boats of skeletons. Yeah, I was like, this might be the end for Jericho yeah. squad. And I was like, I don't know, man. But, you know, we and, pulled through. And when you're unconscious, if it, if an enemy hits you, it's an automatic uh, it's an automatic fail on a death save. And I think it, are, I forget, Brand, are they automatic critical hits? Or no, it's, or maybe when they hit you, it's like two. Melee versus prone. Or like unconscious. I don't remember. Yeah. I'd have to look again real quick. Yeah. He's bobbing in the water too. But it doesn't yeah. happen very often because most of the time they have other threats to deal with and they don't attack unconscious people. But he was pretty mad at uh, at Trudovir. <laughs> I've been calling him fart for the last few episodes. <laughs> yeah. All right, but I guys. am relieved we don't have to deal with him anymore. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah. I forgot he was around. He, he he likes uh he likes making you feel bad. <laughs> All right, guys. All right, well, thanks well, for uh, mm-hmm. yeah, thanks for joining us, and uh, uh, that's amazing that we uh, we pulled through. And uh, thanks, Little Spark Films, for being with us, and uh, hoping the best for your uh, movies. You guys are going to start a new movie? No, we're right now. We're just trying to finish up the one we're currently on. Gotcha. Yeah, Mm -hmm. and the Chattering Hour podcast with Nicholas Vince had Paul T. Taylor. So, uh, yeah, go watch that. He was in The Torture by Little Spark Films. And, uh, yeah, Laurie, I hope you have a great weekend, too. Yeah. It's it's only half over now, so. (laughs) And congrats on Little Spark for getting the uh, the, uh, award at Fourth Fourth Dimension Independent Film Festival. Oh, and out in Indonesia, yes. Yeah. Thank you. That was awesome taking it out into Asia and other territories. Yeah. That's cool. Thanks.
All right, and this podcast having no beginning will have no end. Technical producer Rob Danhauser. Score Imagica Cradle of Chersemet by Ben Warren. Character design Asya Yordanova. And Bird Ninja Art. Additional illustration by Richard Kirk, used with permission. Thank you for joining us, and we hope you have subscribed. You can find the Clive Barker Podcast wherever you find audio. Show notes for this episode, as well as news and reviews, can be found at our website at www.clivebarkercast.com. The Clive Barker Podcast, or BarkerCast, is an independent editorial podcast and blog that is not affiliated with or under contract by Clive Barker or Seraphim Inc. This is a labor of love by the fans for the fans. Watch for our annual Kickstarter fundraisers to get some cool stuff, and you can buy t-shirts on our TeePublic store. Go to TeePublic.com and search for BarkerCast. Thanks for listening.